Yo, how's it going, nerds? Welcome aboard. Good to see you all back. How's that number one community on YouTube doing? Let's see some ones in chat. We got a new pizza roll emote. Members, pizza roll emote has been updated. Mom made pizza rolls. Check it out. In a few minutes here, me and Sir Simulot will be jumping into the backyard of Grounded. It's been a while since I've taken a look at this game, but it is updated with a major update. Or at least it'll be public for everyone soon. We're kind of taking a look at a... It's like a public-private beta where basically you just have to flip a switch and you're into it. So all the things you see from here on out will be coming soon officially to the game, but you should also have access to it now if you go to uh, the Steam store page for the, the game, like the properties page, and flip it over to public server, public test server, you should be able to do all the things you're about to see us do here today, including finding, luring out, and eliminating the broodmother spider. There's a few things that are new in the game, a lot of new stuff, so... If you love this game, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. If we get some giveaways, it'll be going to all of our members in the Discord. Members, remember, it's a big week, and we're playing a lot of new games, and I'm getting access to a lot of new keys and stuff, including a new game that's similar to this that's been uh, in development for a long time, just like Grounded, called Small Lands. They're both very similar and uh, very cool, so we'll be trying that out as soon as we can. I would link Sir Simlot's channel too, but YouTube's doing this weird thing right now where, like, I, I can't get into my YouTube account through my stream deck. YouTube's... This is the same problem that, that's, like, made it difficult for me to stream the last couple of, uh, like, the last month or something like that. So I'll get that sorted out. Let me see if I can drop a link to Sir Simlot's channel here. Ah, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and spam the chat with his channel's name, and then after the stream, I'll ask him to also post a comment so you guys can find him. He is a genius. This man knows everything. And I mean, like, everything about Grounded. Every little secret, every little nook and cranny. Stuff that you wouldn't even think about, like, researching. This guy makes, like, three videos a day on Grounded, and it's crazy. And I'm so glad that he's so passionate about the, the game. It's crazy. Broodmother, damn, that takes me back to Dragon Age Origins. Oh, really? Good point. I do remember that dragon as well. Ah, there we go. Oh, uh, you're addicted to the new police simulator game? Oh, that's good. All right, Sir Simulot's waiting. I'm going to close my Stream Deck stuff. But uh, please do subscribe to him with the link in the chat, and I'll try to drop it on occasion if I can. Uh, Stream Deck's just being a pain in the neck. But I want everybody to get shout-outs, so please do subscribe to Sir Simulot if you like Grounded. Everybody here should be subscribed to him. There's the last shout-out for him for a little while, and then I'll have him drop his link down below in the comment section afterwards. All right, let's go, nerds. Bum, bum. Ah, uh, yes, we've unlocked a giveaway from yesterday, too, so there's more giveaways to be had on the Discord. Oh, man, I can't wait to do some more giveaways for y'all. Oh, boy. I'm also going to, uh, I'm going to need a few volunteers. I'm going to have to take, uh, par apparently our, our ladies in the game have been very, uh, have been very, uh, oh, wait, this game is called Main 64? Oh, yeah, that's right, because this game's based in Maine. I think I'm going to have to get the ladies of the Discord to start handing out keys, like Jessica B. I think Jessica's won every game. That we've ever given away. So I'm going to get, like, the, uh, the lovely ladies of the Discord who are always there. And Baltimoreals, too. We'll get Baltimoreals. We'll get uh, Jessica. And we'll just have them, like, not claim their own keys, but give away keys. we got a trusted community. we got the best community out there. So, Similot Games, question mark? Yep, that is, uh, that is definitely uh, who we're playing with today. His link is uh, in the chat. Oh, damn, I love this game's music. Uh, oh, i got to get signed in with Xbox. Okay. Dude, I want to turn this music up. Yeah. Alright, let's see where he's at. Yo, Rick! It's already 1 a.m. for me, so dropped in to say hi still, ha ha. <laughs> oh, Rick, you gotta get to bed. You're loving that game too much. He's playing uh, the police sim. Hello. Hey Raptor, how you doing? Uh, good. I'm excited for the uh, Shroom and Doom update early look that we're about to do just now. So today, Sir Simlot, we're going to find out where the Broodmother is. That is correct. We're going to find out where her lair is, wh where to find her, where to summon her, like how to summon her, and we're going to defeat yep. her today. That's all going to happen all today. Oh my god. And there's more secrets? Yes, there are. Oh my god. There's plenty of secrets. This game is just secrets the game, actually. Yep. I can't believe how... You'd think this was just a kid's fun, kooky crafting game, but it's way more than that. It's so cool. Just a little bit, man. So just much more bit. to it. All right, well, I suppose we got to get into a multiplayer game, huh? 
Yeah, so if you just go to multiplayer, you should be able to search and find the game that I have open right now. What game are you um, playing? I, I happen to be playing Grounded. Wow. Is that available yeah. now on PC? It is. And Actually, Xbox. Xbox Game Pass, right? Isn't it on a Game Pass now? That it is. Holy crap. So if you guys have Game Pass, you have access to this game. Yep. Yep, for $1 a month. Well, the $1 for the first month, and then I think it's, what is it, $15 a month now? Yeah. Uh, something like that. You can try out Grounded. That, so. That's ridiculous. $15, and there's so many good games in the in the Games Pass. It's ridiculous. Microsoft Flight mm -hmm. Sim, Grounded, those two alone are worth it. Yeah. Uh, of Agreed. course, you're always playing as Pete. I have to go as my boy, Max. Well, you know me. Uh, Pete's my character. I've been playing it since day one, and that's uh, that's who I stay as now. So I uh, remember when there was like a... When they were releasing this game, they sent out little packages of like a promotion for the game, and I got like the uh, the shirt that Willow wears, and like I got yep. a ho hoodie that Hoops wears, the cat. But I love that oh, dinosaur yeah. shirt that Max has. I need that. I need that. Yeah. There's uh, you you can. I do believe that Max's shirt is now available for sale on the Xbox's, uh, uh you know, merchandise store. But the one shirt they what? haven't come out with yet Burgle. is Peach shirt. Oh, I want Burgle shirt. Burgle shirt would be pretty cool, I want the too. Burgle shirt. I see that one lady always wearing it in their little videos. Oh, man, this feels weird to be back in this game after so long. Right? Whoa, wow, more secrets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, now we have increased that watch time. <laughs> All right, where, where should I go? I see an exclamation point. Are we like... Okay, so we started a new game, right? Yep, so what I did today is I started us a new game. That There's way new drawings. Every... There are. Those are those have been in the game for maybe in two updates. Oh. So, uh, what it's I've done been for a you today? Little bit. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Mm. Uh, what I've done today is I've started a new game for us, and I have prepped up a whole bunch of uh, items for us, so that way we can focus solely on the new content that's been released uh, in the Doom and Shroom update or Shroom and Doom update. True. Oh, and uh, we can also tame pets, can't we? Can't we tame uh, weevils and aphids? That we can. Oh, that's all right. Cool. So if you if you just go inside of that storage basket that's right there, I've gotten all sorts of gear for you. Okay. So I would suggest taking everything out of there. Okay. All right, and then just excuse, go ahead. Excuse me. Jeez. <laughs> People in this server are rude. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. So uh, is there a quick way to equip everything? You just double. Oh, double click. Nice. Yep. Double clicking will equip it all. Uh. What else should I put on? Just all the ladybug armor? Yep, the ladybug armor will do it for now. Um, and what we're going to do, so here's going to be a kind of our um, our path for today. So the first thing that we're going to do is they have opened up the haze base. Oh. So we're going to run over to the haze base, and we're going to run through there because in order to attract the broodmother, you need an item that is inside of the haze base. Okay. So that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to run over towards the haze, and then you should have a gas mask in your inventory. When we get over there, you'll equip that. I do, yeah. I remember we snuck in there. You remember that time where we were trying to kill you and then like have you respawn from the tent through the door? Yep. Didn't did, yep. didn't that work? That did work. Oh, yeah. That did work. That was, uh, I believe that was our first grounded stream together. And what did we do? We decided to break the game. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, you've been doing that ever since. That's what's yep. so great about your channel. You found so many things that, like... I, Sometimes when I go to your channel and see the videos you're making, I, I wouldn't even have thought to even make that. Like, you're just like, <laughs> what contents are inside the grill? Oh, guys, it's a mesquite. You wouldn't believe it. It's, you'd think it's charcoal, but it's actually a mesquite wood. It's like, okay, dude. Yeah, I'm going to break right? this down now. It's a ki Kingsford. It's Kingsford quality charcoal. <laughs> All right, you got your gas mask on? I Fantastic. Do. Oh, stink bugs. Yep, watch out for those. Uh, those are going to hurt a lot right now if they actually attack you. I think they're chilling. What's the uh, one bug that shoots uh, the beetle? Uh, the bombardier beetle. Yeah, bombardier beetle. Oh, there's a juice, bo juice box out here. Yep. So uh, a lot of things since the last time you played in the backyard have moved around. Oh. Um, they have adjusted more or less the entire haze except for where the door is to get into the haze lab. Oh, really? Yep. Um, 
How do they we, are... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. To, to, how do we get in there? Like, do you flip a switch to open the door still from the other hedge or what? Nope. So what it takes is you have to activate the scale that we were just on and have that one story um, point be done in order to enter it at the moment. That's going to be changing when they develop the story more. But for right now, that's how you unlock this door is you need to go and activate the scale. So the haze base right now is activated via the scale. Yeah. Interesting. So... Now that you're in here, you are officially in the Haze base. Um, and this is uh, the f base that just got released with the 10.0 update. Wow. I remember those those bugs are affected by that same thing in Last of Us, right? That, um, that weird parasite that, like, mind controls? Yep. So um, there is a... Uh, it's it's a special mushroom. Pete will mention it when we get down towards it. Oh. Uh, the name of the mushroom. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but okay. So oh. in here, you'll see we have a taze tea. Okay. So these taze oh teas are normal. Yeah, those okay. taze teas we've seen before. That you haven't though. That is an arker. This guy right here is a taze tea that uh, stay, shoots energy say, balls at you. So. BTW love to post Ooh, yep, and guns does that. Recently, <laughs> <Raptoria>. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate the five, dude. Oh, oh, I appreciate people. your support. Hey, I got him. Uh -oh, oh, oh, not those guys. Oh, oh boy. Bio oh. grenades. <laughs> Wait, how did I? Watch it. Oh boy. Can we walk through this stuff, or does it hurt uh, us? Yes, but it uh, it does damage you over time with standing in it. Oh. Okay. But we are playing on mild today to make sure that we can get through everything in the <sighs> game, so you don't have to worry about. Uh, taking too much damage from the smaller things like this. JR, welcome aboard too, dude. Thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Sorry if I miss you guys. Me and uh, Simulot. There's a lot of information here, and I love how knowledgeable he is, and so it's info dump the stream, which is, like, exactly what I want. I'm so excited. Yep. Okay, so if you jump back over here, um, this right now, this hasn't been confirmed by the developers, but as us in the community... Uh, do agree that this is known as the Watcher's Hideout. Yep. Uh, the Watcher is somebody who is doing something. Streaming. Um, you can yeah. tell by all the monitors. Yeah, he, he must be streaming. And the hot tub um, back here. Yeah, he was doing some sort of experiments and, and watching everybody. Um, so this is known as the Watcher Room. Uh, but that's all that is back there right now. What's more interesting is down over this way. Oh, also I see for, the, the footprints, too. Yep, there there are footprints. Now there's footprints in every base now, showing the Watcher moving around. Ooh. Also, too, if everybody is wondering, in this chats, we are going to be killing the Broodmother today. We are hunting her, and she'll be taken out before the end of the stream. Amen, brother. Hey, Bird, thanks for the uh, kind words. Appreciate the support, man. All you guys are great, seriously. Pizza rolls for everybody. Oh, I don't, right. Was this water here before? No, it was not. This is brand new. So this got added because I think they're trying to work in um, more um, more things that are doing with the water because they actually adjusted a few of the locations of the scabbies and made them so you can't get them anymore without going a lot deeper underwater. So <gasps> a little bit new. They never used to mark burgle chips. They used to be so hard to find. They now put a marker there. Before you pick that up, go ahead and press tab for me and click on map. Uh, okay. Now, I want you to look at uh, the blinking marks that are all over your map right now. Well, I see... You mean so, us? Or... No, no. If you go north a little bit, say you go north a little bit from us, you should see a little blinking chip right on your map. So what they've done is they've gone through and added uh, all the locations of the burgle chips to your map and made them blinking, that way you can find them easier. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, you. Oh, oh, I see. Yep. Oh, these are. Oh, yeah. Okay, so landmarks are marked, and then burgled chips are marked too. Yep. They went ahead and marked uh, burgled oh, chips for you because that's cool. it. Uh, they're becoming such an important part to the game that you need them so much that they decided, why don't we mark them? Now, it doesn't tell you the exact location of them. Like, for instance, it doesn't tell you that this Hayes Burgle chip is inside of a base that you need to be in the Hayes to and follow a specific path down. Oop. Oh, I opened photo mode. You found photo mode. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you could do... Oh, I, yeah, I saw this Z menu. Yep. Wait, is this is this like a hack mode? 
No, so photo mode, what photo mode is, is a way just to go and take pictures of places that you are. And, and uh, you know, if you find something really cool, you could go and take pictures with your friends or of your base and all that. Uh, between you and me, I found it very helpful for making thumbnails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That must be how they do it, too. So, yeah, I pressed yep. Z for that to happen. Is that is that like a standard mode, or is this because we're in a debug mode? Nope. Wait, isn't, uh, there, a, is a isn't there a thing in here we're supposed to pull? Nope. There, uh, because the haze base is not yet complete, this oh, is okay. phase one of the haze base, um, so you're not going to have any story elements or anything that will affect the story in here at the moment. Uh, but it has there, something to do with those lasers at the start, right? That is correct. Okay. Oh, did my game crash? Oh, no, it tabbed me out? Hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm back. Okay, that was okay. weird. Sorry, guys. So uh, you're going to want to go back over this way. I do believe back in that location, over in that back corner, there will be a uh, a scabby at some point, but there's not one over there yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over uh, to the smaller um, tunnel over here, and then we're going to get out of the haze base. And the scabby is the thing that, like, uh, it changes your HUD and stuff. It's kind of like an aesthetic thing, cosmetic. Yep, that's correct. And they're just like a fun little collectible. Don't need yep. them. Unless maybe for a mission, maybe, at some point. Just uh, to show you, you what they do. Them. For one thing that was just recently added to the game as of 10.0 is achievements. Oh, achievements okay. have officially yeah. been added to the game. True. So uh, a lot of people were waiting for that. I'm very excited about them because, well, when you play a game as much as I have and you've put over a thousand hours into Grounded. Only? Uh, only, yeah, oh. only a thousand. Um, you tend to want to get an achievement for doing that. So, yeah, it's uh, good to know that we were able to, to get some achievements now. All right, let's make sure we don't lose Raptor here. All right. So now our path is going to be the following. We need to run over and we need to turn this burgle chip into burgle um, in order oh, yeah. to get the new crafting recipes for the oven and the grinder. And uh, burgle is at the oak tree base? Yep, that's okay, right. Cool. Yeah, I told you, chat. He's got a thousand hours. I told you, if you want it, he knows more about grounded than the devs do. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's an unofficial official employee. You know, actually, um, I have... Every now and then I do actual streams with the developers of Grounded. <gasps> yep, cool. they have uh, a stream over on their Twitch account that they do um, once a week. And I've been invited a few times now. Oh, that's great. Yep. It's a lot of fun. And one one time, um, their, one of their developers and their community manager, manager, Eric, literally made a comment. He's like, I think you know more about this game than we do. Yeah. And, we're, and we're making it. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. I've, I've said that a long time. You know what they're going to do next before they do. It's just they haven't made it yet. That's a yeah, good and, thing. And the kicker is, is they're like, it's it's incredible how quickly you can get your videos out because we release our official like statement on our Discord mm -hmm. and our Twitter and everything. And they're like, it's like as soon as we get it out to everybody, you're already loading your video to YouTube, right. explaining everything to everyone. That's so good because so people are hungry for knowledge too. Like even if you've got a thousand hours in this game and you think you've found everything there's a chance that you may not have so to watch everybody's videos to find some sort of secret you may have missed is so cool yeah and the thing is is sometimes what they're saying in their patch notes are a little bit more technical so one thing that i enjoy doing is breaking down a little bit more technical and kind of mm. explaining how it's affecting what you're doing and and how it's going to affect what you've done in the game so is the weapon that i'm holding this is a new tier two mallet right is this from a previous update? Okay, so that is hammer that you're holding. Acorn? No, that is a bug mallet, and that has that was in the game from day one. Um, but it's a little bit more difficult to get because you need stink bug parts and bombardier parts in order to make it. Oh, okay. So yeah. So I don't think we ever got to that part when we were uh streaming back um God, what's it been? Six months? Oh, did we <laughs> skip this because we just went for the tier three mint mallet? Um, like the the mint hammer, we, so we needed one in order to get the mint hammer. So I'm assuming one of us probably just made it and and mined the mints. But they've now changed that. Your mint hammer is no longer a mint mallet. It is now a mint mace and is no longer considered a hammer or a smashing weapon. So you cannot break things with it anymore. You need to use either the hammer to break things or bombs. Does it still do that super big like stun stun lock stun lock? Yep. Oh, it, yep. it's a good stun lock weapon. Yep. That is awesome. So I'm not going to spoil it yet, but here's a kicker. Um, 
There is a weapon that you get for taking out the Broodmother. Metal Gear? It, it, or it a weapon not, to surpass it? Uh, a weapon to surpass uh, your Mint Mace, which oh. is right now the strongest weapon in the game. Oh, so there's a weapon even better than that? Yes. We get a part for it. Yes. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, don't spoil just yet. We'll find that out. Ooh, I found raw science. I, I, love, I love how the science in this game is literally just an 80s mall. It's so cool. Hi, Burgle. So just go ahead and talk to Burgle really quick and give him that chip. Hello there. Okay, I'll give him the chip. Uh, wait. There you go, Burgle. We found a Nintendo Entertainment cartridge. Okay. Okay. So, now with talking to him, you should be able to go to Redeem Raw Science. Okay. Okay. And then there should be one for Advanced Manufacturing or something like that. Advanced Processing, it might be. Yep. Advanced Production Buildings. Yep. So, just go ahead and redeem that one. You should have enough Raw Science. Uh, yes. There we go. All right, so that is how you get the oven and the grinder, both of the new uh, processing buildings that were released in this update. You need both of those to not only make the mushroom bricks, but you also need both of those or one of them in order to make the Broodmother BLT. More on that once we get over there. So the mushroom slurry is a new thing as well as the plant slurry? That's correct. Okay. So the, the, the grinder and the oven, those work kind of like how the, what was it called? The juicer or something? Yep. Yep. Works kind of like that? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, with the plant slurry and the mushroom slurry, there is also an added bonus that comes with each one of those when you make them. You need each of those in order to be able to tame one of the respectable creatures for them. So, the mm. plant slurry will yep. allow you to tame an aphid, and the mushroom slurry will allow you to tame your weevils. Okay. Oh, yeah. What was the name of this company again? Uh, uh, Ominent. Ominent, yeah. Hi, Weevil. <laughs> Those things are hilarious. It's so well, funny to me how this game feels like Minecraft. It, you know, I think one of the reasons why this game's so loved is because it does have the Minecraft feel, but at the same time, it has more of that you're actually on an adventure and you're you're setting out to do something. So <sighs> I love this backyard so much, man. I I'm I'm glad I came back to this game. It's just walking around in the backyard is just so awesome. You know, it's I, I think that every time I fire up this game and they update something, I always look forward to what they're changing, what they're updating, because um, the more that they change, it's like it tweaks something. And when you've played the game as long as I have, it's it literally feels like home. Yeah. So it's like, oh, they moved a piece of furniture in the house. Do I you know, how does it oh, feel? Now? How's the <laughs> video function? update that they moved the TV from one side of the guys update. There's speculation. They moved stuff from one side of the room to another. Yep. <laughs> I keep getting tapped onto my game for some reason. I don't know why it keeps doing that. All right. Anyway. I will say, uh, if there are any glitches, bugs, or anything like that that we're running into, we are playing on a public test version of the game. It is for testing. So um, we are going to have a couple glitches here and there. And the game may crash. Luckily, it probably will say... Oh, God. Oh, okay, sir. Whoa. Okay. You're going to want to watch out for that. That tends to hurt. Um, if you have the green smoothies, you could go ahead and click on those. Those will tend to heal you. Oh, he's going. This is going to hurt. Oh, yep. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. It doesn't hurt as bad, though, if we're wearing our mask, right? That's correct. So that, uh, that attack right there is almost... Uh, almost does nothing to you as long as you dodge out of the way if you're wearing a gas mask. I happen to not be wearing mine, which is why that hurts so bad. Oh. Ooh, that was a big boy. Okay, so where we're going now is we're going to go over to the hedge base because inside of the hedge base is where you go in order to get the recipe to make the Broodmother BLT. Oh, okay, so we need one ingredient from the haze base and we need the recipe from the hedge base. That's right. How many ingredients are for the what we're trying to make? Okay, so the Broodmother BLT. Um, Bacon, lettuce, need, and terror? Actually, it's supposed to be um, bombardier, ladybug, and thistle needle. Really? Yep, BLT. 
Um, but the recipe is a little weird right now. So it's actually stink bug parts is what you need for it. Okay. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to get a couple of those. I think I gave you a bunch of items already. We should be able to almost have everything we need to craft it. But um, we'll get everything that we need. Is there anything I can eat for food? Yep. So smoothie um, question mark. <laughs> Smoothie is okay. So smoothie question mark is a good one. Let's see. Where did your character go? There I just want to okay. have one. All right. And then here I'm going to drop oh, you nice. these. Go ahead and pick those up off the ground. There are now floating in the air right here in the clovers. Uh, oh, I see these. Yep. Oh, granola yep. bars. Yep. Go ahead and grab those. Eat those up. Those will help you uh, get a little bit of food back. Now, before we used to like eat a lot of mushrooms, has that changed at all? So they actually changed the mushroom planters um, because they're no longer mushroom planters. They're now garden boxes because you can oh. grow sprigs in them. You can grow clovers in them. Um, you can grow toadstools and larger mushrooms right. in them now. So oh, yeah. uh, they changed it up and now you can actually fertilize them to... In oh, to, really? Yep. To how, do you, how do you fertilize? Using uh, rotten bug meat. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yep. yep. And the... the Planters still look like the, what what was it, like the upside down, weren't they made with the upside down acorn top, or was that something to do with water? Uh, that was the sap collectors. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the mushroom planters, are, well, they're upside down acorn tops, but they're full of dirt and they have a square around them. So they're just a little bit different. What the hell? That's a mosquito. Oh, this is my first time seeing mosquitoes. Oh, God. Yep, they see me too. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Help. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, um, <laughs> the flying enemies are a little bit more difficult in this game. Oh boy, he's doing the thing they do. Yep. Um, oh so, little fun fact about the mosquitoes. Kill it before it lays eggs! They okay. start with their little uh, butts here, uh, <sighs> just this tan color. Yeah. And if they actually land a hit on you, if that you don't perfect block, it fills red. Oh. Like they actually get you. And then you get a mosquito blood sack from them. And with the mosquito blood sack, you can make something called a heel bossa. Really? Yep. Heel like bosses are disgusting. Like a kielbasa. <laughs> it's filled with yep. blood. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. The deskito. Yeah, that's right, Indrid. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was a deskito. <laughs> yeah. 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 <gasps> oh, yeah. Deskitos. Dude, my soundtrack, bro. I miss. Dude, this is why I love going to the hedge base. This soundtrack is just so, like, learning something in the 80s. Yep. <laughs> it's so awesome. All right, so we're hey, going a paper to... paperclip. That's new. Yep. Wow, this lets you know how small we are. Dude. Yeah, that's that's a that's an actual paperclip. I mean, here, you, you can't really see it because you're not here. Now look down, and you can see wow. literally how tiny you are. You are as small as the space between the top and the bottom of the paperclip. And not to mention, we're also like, what, 13 in this game? 13, 14? Just a couple of yep. teenagers, so... Yep. Like, we're not we're not a fully grown person, nor are we like a toddler or anything, but still. Damn. Yeah, we are really small, Kate. That is that is completely true. Yep. But you are the size of an ant. Can't we just feed the uh, broodmother or just a bunch of, like, pizza rolls? Wouldn't that work out? Um, I would love to do that, but Wouldn't if that you easier? find pizza rolls in the game, please let me know because the pizza roll update. All right, let's see. We're uh, do we go to this one here? Sorry, I, I, I I'm lost so used here. to just running. No, you're fine. You're fine. The hedge that uh, sometimes I yep. So you just jump up there, jump onto these mushrooms. Oh, this part always makes my feet like sweat. I get so nervous, my feet get sweaty in this damn yep. uh, haze base. So here's something that's a little bit new. Oh, the zip lines. Yep, it's a zip line in order to get down there now. So go ahead and uh, just ride the zip line. I do remember this. This is uh, not so new, but also very new. How do I get on it? I uh, just walk up to it. You should be able to press E on it when you're looking at it. Oh, I see. Hey, yo, zip! Also, a uh, fun thing about this weapon that I'm holding right here, uh, this is called the Mosquito Needle, and you get it from uh, killing mosquitoes and harvesting oh. their beaks. Oh, it's awesome. It's like a cutlass. Yep, That's, it is like a cutlass. You look so awesome, dude. You look like you're ready to do, um, you know, when they yeah. train uh, sword fighting and stuff. What do they call that? Um, uh, what is that called? There's an Olympic sport for fencing? it. Fencing. Yeah, you look like you're about to do some fen You're very offensive. <laughs> I'm yeah. very offended by your awesome outfit, dude. Um, thank you. 
I don't know if I should say thank you or, you know, get used to it. No, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. Oh, this um, is weird. I'm like hovering in the air. Our, our uh, members goal, you got, you guys literally, so many more people are becoming members that it broke the members goal. So we'll probably do a giveaway at the end of the stream for those of you who haven't become members to smash join on either of our channels and come join our discords. We got good communities, bro. Yep. There is a, uh, I'm actually uh, doing one of those cool giveaway things tonight. <gasps> what are you giving away? Uh, I have multiple games I'm giving away to the person that wins today. Oh, wow. I got a, I got a couple of them from different developers. Like, here, give some keys away. I'm like, okay. I get that all the time, too. It's it's the nicest thing in the world to give. Like, to get a game is cool, but to give. It's like Christmas time, you know. It's, like, more yeah. exciting to actually, you know, when you get to our age, uh, which mm -hmm. is over at least five. We're at least five, guys. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, when you get a little older, it's more fun to give than it is to receive. Unless it's Wendy's. Okay. So, the scabby that I just... There's a scabby that's in here. I like to point this out whenever I come in here. It's called the Bug Juice Scabby. It's my favorite one that they put in the game. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it's like a dark and neon-colored one that's... Uh, it's just all around to me. It just looks the best. So I you, enjoy it. How do you change those? Oh, yeah, you go to... Oh, that's right. You can change day and night mode. Yep, and you just go to OS and you just put it on. And you like Bug Juice. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. Yep. All right, we got Science and Granola. All right, so we are oh, going to. This reminds me of, like night vision. This uh, kind of neat. This this um thingy. Uh, we have an outpost note. Are those new? Uh, outpost notes are new. Um, you could pick it up and read through it. Um, it's just a little bit of story for you when you're running through the game to find out kind of what they were doing out here, why they were in the backyard, why they were shrinking themselves down, and the kind of research that they were doing. Okay. Yep. They were trying to beat the Soviets. You're still hungry? Oh, that's right. Chad has plenty of Hot Pockets and pizza rolls for you. That is for sure. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so now comes where this changed a little bit. So now you got to kind of go down and go around this mushroom. Okay. And then you ride this zip line over. And uh, when you ride down over here, you're going to notice we're going to be right over by the Frisbee again. Oh, yeah, the old, the old spot. The old spot for the brood mother, right? Yeah, and she was just a basic orb weaver. She was a wolf spider, is what she was. Oh, it was a wolf spider. Yep. So oh then just God. uh I hate those wolf spiders. What kind of spider is the brood mother? The brood mother is known as, known as a spiny orb weaver or a jewel spider. Oh. Uh, just go ahead and follow me over this way, really quick. Okay. So uh, this is the tunnel. <laughs> oh, it's here. Oh, yeah, this, this is, is it, boys. This is where she is now. She, we can't actually pull her out yet. Um, but we need this to lure is where her she out. is. Yep. So it's by the Frisbee. Mm -hmm. and, and the Frisbee's in the same spot as always? Yep. The Frisbee's oh in the same God. spot as always. Bro, this is freaky. This is so freaky. Oh, that is... Oh, that, gets, wow, she puts, she puts um, ants up into the webs? Oh, she puts more than ants up in her webs, my friend. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh yeah. Hold on, I need he, to uh, try to fix. She's something. serious. That is uh, one hell of a boss. If she's putting her enemies up in there like that, let me see if I can. Trying to find something here, chat. Hold on. Also, as a reminder, please don't forget to hit the like button. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, if you guys <laughs> like this and want to see more, make sure you uh, smash like. I don't know. I can't figure out what happened to my old uh, new member bar. Oh, there it is. I had to fix something, Chad. Otherwise, it's weird. I'm like hovering here and it's freaking me out. Hopefully, this works. Or, or Streamlabs is down. No, it didn't work. Okay, well, it's on. I mean, you did hit like. Well, thank you. This is the battle arena, dude. Yep, this is the battle arena. So all around you, you have uh, carcasses of other ant bugs that are back here. Like, here's a stink bug. There's a bombardier beetle over in the wall over there. And uh, that is where you deposit the Broodmother BLT uh, to summon her. Oh, dude, this is this is starting to become like Dark Souls. We're going right? to offer give her an offering? Yep. Does she come out from back there? Oh, I don't want to know yet. Don't tell me. 
Oh, dude. Um, I'll leave that as a surprise to you on how she comes into the arena. Probably through the ceiling. And she busts through the ceiling. Oh, man. And everything falls down around it, probably. Uh, don't tell me. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Just, just wait. It's worth the wait. Trust oh, me when okay. I say she's worth the wait. All right, all right. This all is right, gonna so we're be... going to go back out because we need to get over to the um, over to the hedge base now. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got to go into the base now. Dude, I wonder if she's the reason why, like, that base got destroyed. You know, they haven't said yet. Uh, they haven't, like, added that into the story if that's why or if it was just because it was abandoned so it fell or what have you. But it is full of ore weavers, so it would make sense. Wow. Okay, so now where we are going to go is we are going to go over this way. Oh, I miss this game so much. It feels so good to be back. And we are going to ride the zip line right here. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Uh, Jeremiah says, is there a way to ride the zip lines backwards? Uh, not that I know of, no. They're used, uh, Good question, no, well, dude. well, kind of. Well, the option's grayed out for me to just go back up there. Is there an upgrade to, like, get a motorized one? No, no, there, you used to be able to run and jump at the zip line, and you would go back up it, and then come back down. Oh, okay. Um, and you would come down backwards. Do you have your torch? Perfect. I, I do, yeah. Say, cause... I don't have mine. We're going the wrong way. Well, it's nighttime out too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, because, uh, whoops. So it's, I got us a little turned around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we going up to that big tower, that... That one yep. radar dish? Uh, no. We are going to what's known as the outpost. Oh, yeah, okay. Is there weather in the game now? Didn't there, some nights it get really foggy? Uh, there is kind of weather. You're right, it does get foggy. Oh, oh God. But oh. oh, I'm stuck in a web. How do I get out of this? By attacking it. Oh, okay. That was weird. Okay. So... Uh, thousand hours in this game, by the way, guys, and he's yeah. lost. So if you get lost in this it, uh, hedge I, maze, don't don't feel bad. I get I get lost in the base all the time. Oh, uh oh, well that's not good. You okay? <laughs> um, I may have died. Maybe he may have maybe. died. Maybe. That's all right. I'll go hang out with you. Waiting for you in the. Uh, I'll just go waiting here in the, in their nest. That's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, this so is totally fine. I got a little little turned around. It's dark, so I got a little turned around. So hey, sorry I don't blame that. you. Uh, it's okay. Well, there's some papers up here in the webs, but I can't read them. It's because they're written in gibberish. Oh. I'm going to try something here while we wait. Um, That's all so right. This is not the first time anybody's fallen from this base, by the way, in our live streams, and we've had to wait. This is like tradition, Sir Similat. This is just the way well, it is for us. I had to keep the tradition going then, shouldn't yeah. I? No, that's fine. Either you... Look, it was, it was about a 900% chance that I was going to be the one to fall. To be honest, I kind of jumped, but then slipped off. So it wasn't to fall. It was more of like elegantly... An elegant, uh, pre planned, uh, unplanned planned, landing. A unelegant planned descent. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one way to put it. Uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, questions right now about uh, what's going on with the brick uh, oven and consoles. Well, there is an error that's going on right now. It's a little bit of a bug where you can't pull anything out of the oven um, if you're playing with a controller. They are working right now to fix that. I've seen things that people have that they've already pushed an update that there's going to be an update coming soon. So they know about it and they're working to fix it. I see. 
I suppose, Mingo, you weren't here for the uh, the flying update. Have you seen the bees and the mis and the uh, fireflies yet? Well, I just saw my first mosquito, and I do remember the bees from one of the videos that we kind of did together. But that was like my last time in the grounded. The bees don't look anything like that anymore. Oh, really? <laughs> they are bigger and look meaner. Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, I I think I just remember the last thing was the the um the uh, what was it the woodpecker. Or what, what was the bird? Oh, the crow. The crow, yeah. The burb. Yeah, the big burb. All right. So um, once I get over here, what I'm going to have you do is pretty much do a carbon copy of what I did and jump off. Wait, you want me to jump down and die? Yep. As Wait, soon as die? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> Wait till I get over here so you can jump down and I can just pick you up. Oh, okay. <laughs> So we have to go down, but yep. okay, I got you. All right, come on. Uh, See what it's like to fly for a moment. Where are you? Oh, I see. I'm right underneath you. Okay. All right, time to pre pre die. Oh no, guys! Darn it! I'm so bad at this game. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Thank goodness, Sir Simlot was here. All right, you can heal by using one of your smoothies. It will heal you. Oh, okay. Yep. Which is why we brought all those. Yep. Oh, it Okie dokie. You know, I I really still miss the first days of this game where when we built a, a base, we put a bunch of those, um, like, thistle barriers up, and it, there was mm -hmm. that glitch where it spawned all the, uh, what was it, the stink, the, the larva, the stink beetle. The larva, or yeah. The, yeah, the stink bug larva. Yep. Remember when orb weavers used to be scary? Oh, the music yeah. changed, bro! Oh, dude, this is cool! Yep, they changed up the music a little bit when you're fighting uh, spiders now. And the boss actually has her own music as well. Really? So, yeah. Oh, it dude! Is, it is, uh... It's quite... Uh, dude, that was so good! Awesome. <laughs> dude, that's so good! I love that so much, dude. Oh, the music. It just used to be that, like, tonight on Fox, when an animal's attack, and it was the... Dung -a -dung -a -dung -a -dung -a -dung. Yeah. It was just, like, some generic kind of, like... Just just generic drums, and it was just like, okay. <laughs> that was so good. Wow. Is that when a spider attacks you? Yep, like, is that's there... spiders. So that's wolf spiders and... Oh, orb uh, weavers, orb too. Weavers. Oh, dude. Yep. Oh when they God. attack you, that's the music that they make. Oh, dude. Uh, bombardier beetles and stink bugs do the same good old-fashioned music that we've been hearing forever. Oh, okay. And then uh, the... That is awesome, uh, like dude. Smaller bugs because everybody's always like, man, why is it that, you know, I can attack a. Uh, did they change this too? I can't climb up this way anymore? What? All right. Well, looks like we're going to have to go the old fashioned way. Um, when you have the little stuff attacking you, like the um, uh, spiderlings and the gnats and the. Uh, Mites, it has like really lame battle music going on. It's like oh. dun 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 dun. It's like really. <laughs> it, it, it lets it build up though. Yo, yeah. Scott, thanks for the ten and uh, good luck to you, man, on your uh, on your meeting. Biops, we done now. Why does it have to be so dark right now? How long do we get? We got three hours till it's late again. Surgery. Battlefield 20. We're gonna go through the beginning of the headshot. We gotta run over on there the 22nd because, of October of course, 2021. Tim got lost, so I so we went down the wrong zip line. That's all right. Yeah, getting it lost in there seems beyond easy. Thanks yep. again, dude. Uh, and uh, yeah, Battlefield uh, October. That'll be cool. Getting lost in this game uh, is easy, especially in the hedge base. That's we've we've done that every time. Yeah, that's. Uh, it happens more often than you think. Even a guy who's put as much time yeah. as I have into grounded, I get lost in there all the time. And not to mention, like, by the time you get it, that's when they'll change the haze base, like, route. It'll just change. I wouldn't be surprised. Surprised. Do you have another torch? Mine's probably about, uh, eh, maybe 15% remaining. That's okay. It'll be light by the time you need it. Okay. So, and we'll be out of the hedge, uh, the, the hedge well before we need it again. Understood. The music is kind of Stranger Things-esque. Yeah, it's got that 80s, like, sci-fi kind of vibe to it. Dude, I'm more frightened by, like, bugs and, like, giant sea creatures than alien stuff. Like, seriously. 
this game and Subnautica do like creatures very well. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, I just recently scary, the real. I just recently beat Subnautica on my channel. Oh yeah, and excellent game. But mm -hmm. I tell you what, I mean, there was more times where I was sitting there like toes clenched. The, like just driving through dark water it's like please let nothing eat me please let nothing eat me <laughs> such a good game though I agree yeah Subnautica is amongst the best the base building is just fantastic oh I yeah they and also they added all sorts of things since the last time you built bases uh, in this game oh really oh mm -hmm. yeah the new mushroom brick yeah, we also have curved walls, curved half walls, half walls that can be built, new oh. roofs. Yeah, there's all sorts of cool stuff now. Okay, now I think I'm a little lost. I'm near the juice box. How do I, do I jump up, I think? Okay, hold on. I'm coming. So... Am I going the right at way? At the juice box, you need to go up, and you need to go around the juice box. You need to look for the zip line. Okay, got that. Okay, once you come down the zip line, you're looking for a... Um, path that's going to lead you kind of towards me. So you'll see that there's a stick that's leading you out towards me. Just follow me over here. I think I got you. Already. You found uh, Subnautica to be scarier than Below Zero? Yeah, your first introduction into it. It's real scary. Do I need to go out on the leaf? No, nope, the stick. Nope, you come right across over here. Uh, with Below Zero, to me, I just I felt like the game was brighter. I just yeah, I felt like the whole game was just brighter. Yeah, it was definitely more colorful. I, I, I really liked both games. Um, yeah. The first one was a little better just because it was like more, the introductory. Yeah. So the, agreed. But the second game was a great. It expanded on all the stuff from the first, and I loved it. Mm-hmm. You just come around over there, come back over this way. So we're going to the outpost. Yep. We go to the outback and get a blooming onion. I'd rather go there. Well, now that you mention it, I am pretty hungry. <laughs> what, in game or IRL? Both. Both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call yes and Sir Simla. It's good in comedy. I'm still perfecting my human comedy. Uh, well, I don't know where to go now. Okay, so you're going to go towards. Now, you see my a little icon? Uh, Yeah. So you want to come kind of down the sticks a little bit. Down here? Let me see if I can get back over to you. Well, I don't know if I'm in the right place. Wait, did you go down another zip line? Yes, I did. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm way above that. I think I went up. Yeah, you want to you want to go down. I want to go down, down the mushrooms? Oh, yeah, I think I remember this. Okay. The public test server is live right now, everyone. Yeah, everyone as can play this. Yep, everyone can play it on public test server. The actual update comes out on June 30th. But we're going to beat that brood mother tonight, so if you want to know where oh, she yeah, at one way how to summon her, we're going to get her. Okay. Now, if... I really hope I don't go the exact same direction as I did before, because if I do... You'll then be... I will just port <laughs> where we need to go. Oh, okay. And grab what we need to grab. Okay, so... That's technically the right direction. We might need to use the bird bath now. It might be forcing you to go that way. Um, Let me see something. Oh, yeah, Whoop, that's... The... I crashed my game. <laughs> Oh, there's an item here. Oh, yeah, my, my game just crashed. Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We'll be back in a second. You haven't been to an Outback in ages? Yeah, it's interesting. They got that blooming onion, and that's about it. I, I don't really think of Australia as having, like, an amazing cuisine or anything. Not yep. like it's bad. It's okay. I guess. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Double okay. crash. Yeah, I crashed too because he was hosting, but once I jump back in, we'll be right back where we were. Oops, wrong button. Uh, Is this game still four? Oh, wasn't there a rumor still for five player? 
Yep. Hmm. I don't know if if five players gonna become a thing. I will be honest, because um, it seems like they're pretty comfortable with the four four player. I don't know if there's supposed to be a fifth player, like a fifth um, person that was shrunk down with you. I have no idea hmm. where they are, but there's five slots in the case where you uh, spawn by them. I see you. All right, I'm coming in. Let's go, boys. Let's beat that weave. The weave mother. The w the mother <laughs> weaver. Oh, man. Boss battle incoming, boys. It's coming. <laughs> I'm so excited. Gotta get that As recipe. As am I. The music is creepy. That is true. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, we're back. Mm hmm? Oh, my thing's about to burn out again. Oh, I think I'm in the wrong spot. Um, gotta go for the mushrooms. Oh, so that's up, actually. No, that's down. Ooh, I took the... Uh, Put it down there. Thing. We're gonna figure it out. I remember where I am. Wait. That's how you did it. Now, Sim remembers. We were in the right spot. I was just being, well, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? What happened? Um, well, all we had to do was look up to a leaf and see the leaf and go, oh, that's the way we're supposed to go. Oh, and we're just supposed to grab one leaf? Well, kind of. So take, uh, are you back on the frisbee again? Yep. Okay, so jump up uh, over towards like where my character is. Where you see my little character icon. There'll be another zip line. Take that over here. Uh, I missed my leaf. All right, oh, there okay. you go. Very good. Yep, yep. I see it. Go ahead and just take that on over here. I'm on the way. Alrighty. Or all lefty, depending on uh, which hand you use. Um, hop up here like we did before. We got some nice mushrooms over here we hop up. Right. Yeah, so we we got to this stick, right? And I, I ran right past this leaf here and ran to the end of the stick and was like, uh. yeah, we missed where we're going. Now jump on the leaf. <laughs> and don't fall off. You will die. All right, now we're going to go in the, the hedge base. zippity doo da Hooray. Ah, we made it. That's right. Okay. So in here, um, this isn't where we need to go for the part. Um, so we're just going to kind of run through here. You can unlock this area, which will unlock over there, which will give you a burgle chip and a gas mask, which is why I'm pretty sure we're going to go from the regular the oak lab over to here and then to the haze base after that but they haven't really given us a hundred percent yet and i do believe the underwater base is somewhere in there as well oh yeah okay gosh and lots of spiders i'm ready yeah the music is beautiful and the the lighting is so cool these bases are it really feels like we're in subnautica these bases are so subnautica but we're in a hedge Yep. This game is like Subnautica and Alien Planet and Earth at the same time. Yeah, because the oh. funny thing is is that everything you're seeing, none of it's an alien. I mean, it's all... It's all... Yeah, these uh, exist. Yeah, well, the Taze T's don't, but as cool as that would be. Bro, come on, you just gotta believe. I would love, like, I was uh, telling a... I think I messaged Eric one time about it, because uh, there's a there's one of the developers, he has a 3D printed burgle. Oh, dude. I'm like... That is awesome. And I'm like, I would love either a 3D printed Burgle or like a 3D printed Taze T. Yep, I'm going to need one of those, Taze T. I want the shirt that uh, Max wears. Love Max. I love, uh... There's that one girl who always does the promotionals and she's got the Burgle t-shirt. And I want that t-shirt so bad. Her Burgle Oh, that's tea. Shyla. Yeah, she's... Oh, she's cool. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her since the, uh, the Crow update, whatever that was called. I think it was oh, called the was... Cro Chromia River update, I think it was, or yeah. something. I don't know. Yeah. All right, do, where do we go now? Well, I see we got a zip the line. Bird. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to follow me up this way. 
So let's see. Where are you? You need to come back over this way? Okay. I was busy smashing. We got to go up. Whatever you do, just don't die, smiley face. Yeah, okay. Thanks, chat. Good. Yeah, oh, do you have a thousand hours in this game too, Tan? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go down the zip line, and right when you get to, or right before you get to that light, you're going to drop off the zip line by pressing the left control key. So your idea is to do this. Okay, nice. Good. Now we're going to go over to this way. This is how you find the Broodmother BLT recipe, by the way. This is, uh, <laughs> I actually just found this today. So Ooh. thanks to a really good friend of mine who gave me a little bit of a tip on how to find it. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> you run up over here. Wow, how would you find this stuff, man? It's crazy. Um, wrong turn at Albuquerque. Please don't follow me too far down because we're going up. All right, so this is where it gets really dangerous. If you haven't done this a lot, uh, be extra careful. But this, you have to walk on very tight ropes. Oh, we're going up there. Yep, we're going all the way up here, inside oh. of here. How the hell did you get up there? <laughs> Do I have to walk over here? Okay, so, yep, so you walk, turn around. You see this stick that I'm standing above? Yeah. So you can walk on this. Oh, okay. Yep. So come, yep, there you go. And just run up, well, walk up that. <laughs> and if you fall off here, you will definitely die as well, just so you know. Oh! <laughs> and then uh, you just come inside the uh, the little the little doorway. It, it, it'll It'll open up. F this, F this. <laughs> just, just come on in. Just jump in. Very good. Oh, okay. Holy crap. So you have a scabby and you have the Broodmother research notes. Ah. Yep. So the scabby is the, which one? I believe that one, yeah, 2.11. Ooh. And then some research notes. Now, the research notes, what they say, which is which I think is a really cool thing that they added, is Broodmother Research Notes, Trial 24, Weevil Cooked, No Interest, Trial 25, Ladybug Raw, Some Interest, Not Enough to Lure Her from Her Lair, oh. Trial 26, Stinkbug Raw, No Interest, Trial 27, Stinkbug Cooked, The Odor is Horrific, Nearly Visible, Yet It Seems to Appeal to Her, Perhaps If Combined with Ladybug Meat, Trial 28, Ladybug and Stinkbug Cooked, Success. The noxious, uh, though noxious, the brood mother could not resist the bait. Uh, that said, having her up close, perhaps I should continue to study her from a distance. So, yeah, really cool little addition that's there. So there's also a um, a playable log that's right behind you if you want to read that as well. So, uh, oh, yep. I like how it says nab. Wait, I don't hear anything. You don't? Oh. I turned it off because of whatever reason. That's okay. Hello, and welcome to Roby's Classic Automated Burger Shop. My name is Burgle, and I will be taking your order today. Perhaps I can interest you in the daily specials? My favorite is the Ruby's 0.375 pounder with cheese with a side of mammal style fries. <laughs> that will do just fine, Burgle. Remember the Ruby B -B Burger motto make every day exponentially great. Was that what? What was that all about? <laughs> was that the meeting or uh, something? Uh, 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 uh oh he's become burgle <laughs> beep boop boop beep uh one of my paid bots again uh, Sir so Simlot, are you there? You went robo the whole time. I'm just, if you can hear me, I'm just going to follow you. But I can't really hear you. Somebody must be downloading a copy of Ground... Oh, and he disconnected from the... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> he stopped because he... 
<laughs> he broke down. Sir Simlot EXE has stopped working. Beep boop. Yeah, we found the note. So the observatory that we've been to many times, very up high. Uh, man, you, there's going to have to be a separate video on how to get up there and get to these places. Because I'm, I'm sure Sir Simlot's made one. Oh, our Discord went down. Oh, there we go. Now it's back. Oh. That was fun. Sorry about that. Oh, there's a bug attacking you. Right, I was yeah, going to say, so, something with the team speak happened there for a second. I was like, whoa. All okay. right, well, what were you saying? I, it sounded interesting. Okay, so uh, as far as I'm understanding it from what I'm reading and stuff, um, in all the different notes and stuff from the Ominent Log, so what Dr. Wendell was putting down, Dr. Wendell Tully, that's the doctor's name that created the spacer technology, which shrinks you down. Um, he kind of goes crazy after a while. Um, from shrinking himself down and growing himself back up again, he kind of seems like he goes a little bit crazy, mm -hmm. and uh, he ends up deciding just to stay in the backyard for now on instead of ever getting big again. And I think that is just like a hint to you know him just reminiscing of the old times. At oh, least yeah. in my opinion, that's what I believe. Ominous practical technologies, totally. Go whatever. I'll sort it later. The important thing is, I have done it! Success! The spacer has worked its magic! I have successfully shrunk a set of basic plastic polyhedral dice from the size of standard dice to no bigger than the size of... Well, much smaller dice. <laughs> uh, yep. Burgle, make a note to come up with a better comparison. Noting! You did it nonetheless. This Noting. is a complete exoneration! However, it occurs to me that I have a new problem. The dice were intended to be young Thor's Christmas present. He will be disappointed. But perhaps I can convince him that they were miniature dice. The tiny instructions might be a bit of a giveaway. A new solution may be required. To the fun pit toy mart before they close. Yeah. That's when uh, Dr. Tully literally first did it. He first used the spacer and shrunk something down. So, cool little... Cool little note there. Okay, so the first thing he shrunk down was dice. Interesting. Yep. Yep. There's a workbench okay. here. Does, does this workbench make anything different than the other ones you can craft yourself? Not that I have seen yet. Okay. So what, uh, so what are we doing here? What are we looking for now? So now that we have that, we are making our way out is what we are doing. Oh, we're because, leaving. Okay. Yeah, we need to go back down. We need to grab some charcoal. Oh. We need to go and grab one of the new resources, which is charcoal. And then we need to make our way over to make the Broodmother BLT. And then once we make that, we can go fight uh, the Broodmother. That's what we need the oven and the and the charcoal for is for cooking? Yep. Okay. Yep, because you have to cook the meats in order to attract the Broodmother. And you said it's a stink beetle part for now? And yep. ladybug and thistle? Yep. Okay. All right, so we're, we're getting out of here, chat. We're leaving. Unless they updated the recipe in a hot fix, and if they did that, then I'm wrong, and we'll need to kill bombardier beetles. Uh, we're getting so. ready to kill the uh, brood mother. We have to, we have to spawn yep. her, so we're we're basically doing a thing to give her an offering. We have to offer her a special sandwich. We're maybe 15 to 20 minutes most away from summoning her. Oh boy. Well, when we go back to the base, is there okay? So we're gonna go to a new location, the grill, right? That's new for yep. one for ten version ten. That's correct. Yep. We're going to see a new location, a new item, which is the charcoal. That's right. Charcoal. Is that, by the way, before we leave here, is that little secret thing still here with the ladybug, uh, the ants' yes. heads and stuff? Is that changed yep. at all? It has not. No, oh, but okay. there is a new one that is underwater um, oh. that when you find that one, you actually get called something called the Abomination Totem, which the Abomination really? Totem is, uh, it's like an ant head with uh, uh, little arms and legs and stuff and an ant butt and it's, it looks really creepy and it's got like jaws from a larva. It, the whole thing just looks really nasty but um, it, it looks a lot like those things that you find uh, when you go into those secret areas. Now this is now when you go into that first one that we found there's like a bunch of ants that are on he, ant heads on stakes does is that actually did you test that you tested that out right to see if that scares them away does that work Yeah it does not scare them away no oh. I thought that that would be a really cool addition but it does not scare them away That would be cool can you craft that abomination thing Yes you can you find the recipe for it and then you craft it as many times as you want 
And uh, the funny thing is now is you can sit in the chairs, by the way. That's that's been added to the update. I should have brought that up first. Oh, nice. You can now sit in chairs. Uh, I lost you. I don't know where I'm you right, are. I'm right behind you. Oh, are you? Oh, you're just in the water. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see. I was you following you pretty. Yeah. Um, they added sitting in the chairs. And if you make one of the little abomination totems, it looks like a waiter trying to serve you. So, wow. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. That's nice. The Broodmother does have a five combo attack. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, we're getting charcoal because we can use it in an oven, and then we can cut... Um, or sorry, we can um, we can cook some of the ingredients uh, yep. for this like kind of sandwichy thing we're going to make. That's right. Which That's apparently right. The, the scent of the... The combination of the scents that we're about to combine is going to like drive her nuts, and it's going to be like a thing that to drive her out of hiding. She she probably eat a big... <laughs> Judging by what we found in her nest, it looks like she's had a pretty big meal recently, but I guess this yeah. is going to try to lure her out for a little dessert. Oh, I don't remember these rocks. So this is part of Spade Gulch? Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember when they named Oh, isn't this where the lava, uh, larva thing is? Yep, there is a large uh, larva nest right back there. You can use your hammer and break out those acorns. Oh, that's right. Um, And... Yeah, that will uh, that'll do it. I remember we went down there once for like a bunch of XP or something. Like, cause um, don't you get you get quests from Burgle right to like to kill certain creatures, and that was one of them. Yep, yep. So uh, Burgle will also give you quests to go looking for uh, Burgle chips, and to go craft things, to go find places, to uh, mark locations. And there's also a burgle chip that's down in that area with them as well. Now, Chad, if you don't have a burgle chip, what would be your second favorite chip? Original, barbecue. Whoa! Look at the size of that egg. Honestly, um, I'm just glad it's not big. Personally, I, I, I prefer potato chips, just yeah, plain potato with potato chips, microchips. Okay, now I did lose you this time. Which direction did you go? Um, uh, I'm looking at up. the tree. Okay, look to your left. Oh, I see you. I'm being booped by gnats. Oh no. Are there bees around here? That's not new though, right? The bees? The bees aren't new, but they're new to you, so we can show you them. The, uh, the, the bee, what do you call it? The graphics? The, the bee model? <gasps> I can see the grill tipped over next to the shed. <gasps> Is that yep. thing still here? The one with the chef? Yep. Yep. Oh. That's still a thing. Uh, so the thing is where the grill is right now is not its permanent location where it is right now is a temporary location until they finish the part of the map where the grill is going to go. Um, oh. So where the grill was is where it's going to go. I do believe they said that they're working on it. That is a lot of mosquitoes. That's a lot of mosquitoes. Oh boy. Don't We're in trouble. Need to boil it. Oh damn. Watch another one coming to you. So, I never finished telling you about what the Mosquito Rapier actually does, this cutlass that I have. Oh, yeah. Uh, when you attack things with it, it heals you. Oh, really? Really, really. Yeah. It's very helpful. Is so, if you... Oop, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it easy to shoot them down? Yes. And they did add a new weapon in the game. They added a crow crossbow. Oh, really? Um, yep. You uh, make it, and it's a more powerful uh, ranged weapon. But it shoots slower than your standard bolt. It takes more time to reload. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Okay. We got him. Perfect. Deskitos are down, boys. We are going to swim across the pond. Oh boy, is there anything more? We oh, what about the koi? The koi fish is still in here, and it definitely still wants to eat you. That's nice. And it will swallow you whole. I have some people telling me that it was in my chat that it was updated on Xbox that you do need bombardier parts to make the BLT, which if that's the truth, that is okay. We will... uh just have to kill a couple of bombardier beetles. Not a big deal. I do know that uh, my game updated before I came in here, so maybe that was something they changed. But yeah, not a not a big deal. Oh. Hmm. Worse than 
I think the grill should be up. Uh, maybe it'll be closer to the. I mean, any normal it's person would have their grill closer to the patio, right? Yeah, you'd think that, but um, I also know that 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 picnic table's over there, so there's always the chance that yeah. you know they just wanted it near the picnic table. I got a couple of mosquitoes on me again. Yeah, just run towards me. I'll take them out when you get over here. Oh, you got one too. Wonderful. All right, let's get them. You know, I'm happy that these mosquitoes aren't nearly as painful as the death mosquitoes from uh, what was that? Valheim? Oh God, the one and done. Yeah. Yeah. Here, we, we we're gonna look at you, and then you're gonna die. It's like, oh, thanks for that. I appreciate that. He's aggroed on me. Oh, nice. So I think that that's going to be a trick with the broodmother. Somebody's going to have to take the aggro. But um, if you come over here, you'll see these little red rocks on the ground. These are ever-burning coal. Picky. You need to use that tier 2 hammer that I gave you in order to um, uh, in order to mine them. Ah. Yep. Oh. Just go and pick that guy up. We just need one? Yep. Now, you should... If I remember correctly, if you go into your building menu and go into crafting um, and go to oven, you need everything that's in my inventory. Do you have uh, everything to build it? So, um, for instance, press B, click the second tab over, and then the one on the bottom that says oven. Yep, I got everything. Okay, go ahead and just uh, put that down. So 10 clay, one ever-burning charcoal chunk, and then a boiling gland. Does that symbol mean that it's not complete? Yeah, or... they're still working on the uh, the overall uh, look for that. I don't know okay. what the icon is going to be look for it yet, but I know that they're working on it. And it should be out for the full release. Okay, now uh, just go ahead and build everything in there. Wait, what's super build do? A hold E and it will super build the whole thing. You won't have to sit there and put all the different parts into it. Oh, okay. Okay, oh. Broodmother BLT. So you need two ladybug parts, two bombardier parts, and one thistle. Um, do you have all of that in your inventory? Don't know about the bombardier thing. Let's see. Yep, I got bombardier parts, ladybug parts, and what was the last thing? Thistle? A thistle needle. I got one, yep. Three. Okay, go ahead and uh, go to that craft menu. And ah. double click on the, uh, the broodmother BLT. <laughs> it literally looks like a club sandwich. Yep. That's oh, it's got some goo in the middle. Oh, gross. That's cool. So W to craft. So it just takes a minute, or is it instant? It takes a minute. That's cool. Hey, what's up, Earl? Good to see you all here. Thanks, guys, again for smashing join and becoming members and such. I, I dropped the link again to become a member, but my Streamlabs is being real weird right now where I can't... Uh, my stream deck, sorry. I, I need to, like, re-log into my YouTube account. But anyway, I'll drop a link for Similot's channel. If you guys are watching right now and you want to know more about Grounded, there is definitely... Pro I guarantee you, if you know everything about Grounded, there's still ten things that <laughs> Sir Similot's probably made a video on that you had no idea existed. So click on that link right now. You can go watch him as well as me, or you can watch it. We're, we're, we're here together. We're doing the same thing. Yep. So if you want to show him some love, smash sub, and you can come back here even. And, uh... So here's one for you. Learn more. Uh, I have a channel that is all about cooking and crafting things. I made a, another channel just to kind of have some fun with that one. And today I put out a video about making some of the food that's in this game. And I made one of the to shake this game. Let's just see if it can go with me. So, oh, no. Don't help me cook the food. I think we're having a problem with TeamSpeak again. Yeah, be, yeah, be boop again. No, TeamSpeak's being mean again. No, no. You sub the search them line? Well, thank you. We'll uh, we'll wait till this thing's done cooking, then we'll go see if we can fight the broodmother. The TeamSpeak's having issues, so we'll it'll fix it up again. We use TeamSpeak other than Discord because TeamSpeak has a higher audio quality. <laughs> At least we, we say that. Everything's being weird today. I can't I can't I can't drop links via my stream deck. 
the uh, member goal has completely disappeared from the screen. Our disc, our team speak is being really weird. Oh well. Oh, okay. It's about uh, fourth of the way remaining. We got a little bit longer in the BLT. All right. If you uh, guys don't know, we we actually have a uh, alert. Boss battle incoming. Epic boss battle for the new Broodmother boss will happen momentarily. Triops Gaming, thanks, dude, for the five. Appreciate the support. What the hell's happening? Are, like, a bunch of websites or something being attacked tonight? Like, I can't do anything. It looks like it's turning nighttime again. Haven't played this in months, need to play it again. You do. You should play it again. Okay, looks like the BLT is almost done. Ooh, the sun's going down again. Ooh, very romantic. Ooh. Oh yeah, we have the Cutlass too. You can also throw these weapons as well to do damage. So if you want to, like, yeah. throw it at an enemy, you can do that. Pretty cool. Long time no stream. What you're you're new here for the first time in a while? Oh, Project Forty Six. You're a member again. I see. I see. Well, let's see what we can do. I guess I can retrieve it. Oh, good, I'm back. Well, that was weird. Tell me more about your uh, cooking channel again. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. So, yeah, I made a, I recently made up a cooking channel, and I thought uh, what would be really fun is with the new release for uh, Groundus Update would be to make a couple recipes from Grounded. So the first thing I did was make Billy Hog hot dogs, which is nothing more than what's supposed to be a gas station hot dog that's right. been way overcooked. <laughs> um, so that was really easy. But then I made the smoothie called Human Food. Oh. And what it is, is it is uh, muscle sprouts, which for me would mean if you grind up cube steak and brussels sprouts together and turn it into a ball uh that would make muscle sprouts um that cookies so bad cookies hot dogs and apples mixed together what there's a recipe of that well that's one of the smoothie recipes that's inside of the smoothie maker so i decided heck let's make one it didn't sit very well with me when i tried it <laughs> it didn't sit very well with me at all yeah i didn't think so but, uh, yeah, I've done other things over there, like I made bacon pancakes from Adventure Time. And oh. I'm just having a good time. Really, that's what it's all about. It's just oh, having good. a good time. So you're cooking recipes not only from Grounded, but from from gaming. Yep, from gaming, from TV, from movies, from oh, just cool. random recipes that I feel like doing. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing to mix mix it all up. That's good. Well, I it I love doing the gaming channel. The gaming channel is so much fun. But when you're sitting here and you're just making gaming videos over and over every day, you're like, man, there's just a little bit of something else that I'd want to do. So having the, the backup channel, I only post one video a week. Hmm. And just have a little bit more that's not playing a video game. Uh, it was like a stuff. 
Tonight's not our night. Tonight's a glitch night. Yeah, no kidding. That's right, Chad. We'll get through this. We got this. We just got to fight the boss. Is it better yet? Yeah, there it goes. Okay. It's better now. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. All right, so we're back to the going back to the hedge so we can fight the brood mother. That's correct. That's oh where my we're God. going. The giant enemy boss battle is underway. Ones in chat if you're a subscriber. Ones in chat if you're ready. This Pinto blast if you don't want us to idea. die. Not dying is one of my uh, favorite Tiny hobbies in games. Badly. Well, in grounded, it's uh, it's a thing. I mean, you, you try not to die, but I mean, it happens. I remember they put out uh, they put that rash character in this game, and then it was what like a month later they came out with a new rash game. Yeah, true. Well, I think Obsidian owns the licensing to that, or Xbox owns the license yep. to that, and they own Obsidian. So something to do with it. They all know each other. All right, we need a Pinto blast wall, mostly for me and Simulot first to defeat the first enemy, which is literally getting through the hedge maze, <laughs> and then second <laughs> of all, uh, the enemy itself. By yeah, the way, so uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I ate the BLT. Were we supposed to eat it? Uh, no, you weren't supposed to eat. God, I hope you didn't eat that. <laughs> no, you can't eat it. I was just kidding. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, I'd say it's, it's, those parts to make that are not the easiest to come across. We can get them, but but uh, that would uh, that would throw a serious hindrance in our plan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So if you would like, after we wipe out the Broodmother, uh, we can run over, grab up the materials to make a grinder, and get you a pet before we uh oh, yeah. before we close her down but we are going to definitely look at uh the weapon and the armor piece that you get for killing the brood mother so oh you get a weapon and an armor piece well you get pieces to make said things so one thing i will say this isn't that much of a spoiler so i'll say it uh you can summon the brood mother over and over and over and over again oh, so even cool. if you kill her you can do it again well that's fair because you know everybody needs a piece for armor yeah. So that's good. That That's like how it is in Valheim. Yeah, but... That's, that's uh, cool. Depending on how difficult this is... Because I don't... I've never fought her in this mode before. I've only ever fought her when I was in uh, Creative with Bugs, the newer game mode that's in the game. Uh, it's literally a creative mode just with all the bugs walking around. And they don't... They can't do any damage to you and they don't attack you and they don't anger you except for the Broodmother. And, oh, that's great. Yeah. But she doesn't do any damage when she attacks you. So I was able to, you know, beat her up. But I've never actually seen how much damage she's going to do. So this is new for me. We're going to hope that we don't die. <laughs> Pinto bless. That's right. Oh, we're going to fight her at nighttime? Oh, this is... Well, I guess it won't matter because she's kind of in a cave. Yeah, she's in a cave that's pretty lit up, so... The cave is, as the kids like to say nowadays, pretty lit. Pretty dank. You need to come down, Raptor. I know, I'm dealing with this oh. little spooter. There we go. Uh, do I need to go left? Wait, when you get off the zip line, do you go directly left? Uh, yes. Oh, I think I went the right way. Yep. Yep, there you go. Yep, you want to come down over this way? I know it's a lot harder to see during the nighttime of the game. So. <laughs> Can't tell I've done this before. Perfectly time jumps <laughs> every time.
So uh, one game that a lot of people have been talking about recently uh, on top of Grounded, it's a game that's a lot like Grounded. It's called Small Land. Oh, yeah. Yep, they just uh, released their first official game tra uh, gameplay trailer of it the other day. The game looks awesome. Um, and I've had the opportunity to actually have a very small conversation with their uh, lead developer, Kev. And uh, he's very excited for, for the release of the game. Didn't give me any spoilers or anything like that, but he's very excited for the release of the game. And uh, 2021 is what they said, is when either it's going to come out to public test or it's going to come out fully. He didn't really mention the trailer said 2021, so we'll see. Um, but it should be a really cool game. It's like this, but where Grounded is sci-fi, um, Small End is fantasy. Yes. So... I am glad you brought that up because Small Land also sent me an email, Danny from Small Land, and he wants me to talk about the game before it releases so you and I, at least you and I, can go in and learn about that game together. So if I get access, I'll send you over, I'll, let, I'll insist that they let you in as well, ma'am, of a thousand hours of this game. Would love Small Land. I couldn't even imagine. I've done some videos on their uh, updates that they've been putting out, and they have things that are crazy like taming creatures and riding them like riding a dragonfly riding lizards um fighting bees fighting giant tarantulas like they have all sorts of things in their base building it's it's crazy that game's gonna be huge all right this is it folks from here on out this is the brood mother battle again if you were wondering where the brood mother is and how to summon her i would ch say check back to the beginning of the stream for some of the things that we did but essentially find the uh what would you call it? The, the frisbee in the yep. near in the hedge where the haze uh, the hedge base is, and you'll need to go to the haze base to get here first too, or or to, at least to summon her. You'll have to go to the haze base and the hedge, and base. The hedge base. Yep, and then you'll need to come back here again. You'll pass this on the way anyway, so you may as well stop. Giant enemy battle begins now. Yep. This is it. Yeah, arachnophobia alert. If you're afraid of. Yeah, if you guys don't want to see a giant bug or you don't want to be spoiled before the game, before it comes out for you to be able to play, now would be a really good time to just uh, get up it's and go get a drink of water um, and come enough. right back. Don't close the stream, though. <laughs> yeah, if you're afraid of caterpillars, this is not going to be good for you. Arachnophobia is a very, very serious thing. Luckily, it's not a spider or anything. Yeah, so you go ahead and put that down and then just uh, turn around. Wait, it's a spider? Just go, ahead, just go ahead and put that down. Put the Broodmother BLT down. Summon boss. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Hi, lady. Oh, she big. Oh, she big. Oh, she hurt. Oh, she hurts. So she doesn't hurt as much as I thought that she would. Okay, that's different. Okay, that knocks you back. Oh, hi. Oh, that's oh. nice. <laughs> oh, and she summoned spiderlings, by the way. Watch out for those. Oh, kill it before they... Well, wait, too late. They've already laid eggs. Go kill them now. There was oh. like a, a yelling attack with damage over time. Oh, and now I'm poisoned. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's not good. Uh, Hi, lady. Uh -oh. He has a ton of health. Uh, those green smoothies that I gave you don't heal you. Yeah, I got him. Ooh. Ma'am? Okay, oh, yeah, ma'am. She just killed me, you gotta run over and pick me up, because if I die, I can't come back and help you. Ah, oh, it's too late, damn it. I got po- <laughs> Dude, her poison, that's the worst part. Yeah, she's- that- that hurts. That poison right. is absolutely incredible. That is All a, right, so that's this... a big lady. Ooh, that kind of sucks a little bit. Okay, um, because we're gonna have to back out and go back in and fight her again, but we need to- Oofta. Wow. We are going to. We're gonna have to just uh, respawn here. We're gonna have to remake a Broodmother BLT, which means we need to get uh, more ladybug parts and more bombardier parts. Okay.
So well, I had some first... in my backpack. I had more than. We I have to go back and get your backpack. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can run and do that. You want me to do something else out here while you grab? Like you can grab some of the stuff, right? Well, we could meet at the the oven, right? Yeah, we could meet at the oven. So why don't you just? Well, I can't get in your backpack, so you have to come with me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we could just get all of our armor and stuff back then, right? You're actually still wearing your armor. Oh, I am, and I still have my weapon. Yep. Oh. So here's the kicker: when you um have when you die wearing armor and a weapon, you respawn with that armor and a weapon. So they updated it a little bit. Oh, that's nice. So we used to do these like uh, long hauls where we would bear we would rarely ever die in the game, but if we did, then we'd die like six or seven more times just trying to get our stuff. Especially with the damn wolf spiders all the time. Yep, that's that's how they went ahead and fixed that. Yeah, it's she kind of looks like a wolf spider, but she's a she's a very into the orb weaver, but yeah, it's, so, it's it's like an orb weaver and a wolf spider kind of together, almost. I would say that her damage is maybe 1.5 times that of a wolf spider, and her venom is twice as strong as wolf spider venom. It's yeah, her venom's pretty serious. The, the venom was incredible. Like I was trying to drink all that stuff, but man, oh, wh wh how would we do if we dealt with uh, her with like a ranged weapon? Well, because of how much she jumps around, I feel mm. like it just wouldn't do very much damage. I feel like the best thing is going to be just brute forcing her at the moment. Doesn't um, the game also multiply her damage and health based on how many players there are? That It does. Okay, so, so, so she's got two times the health because of you and me? Uh, I don't know if it's twice the health. I do know it's an increase of health and increase of damage, but I don't know if it's I don't know if it's exactly double. Okay. So in any sense, she does a lot of damage. Yep. Wow. Damage. There we go. Yeah, we all need. Yeah, we need some insecticide. Just get a can of Raid Shadow Legends. That's all we need. Okay, wait, I went the wrong spot. You're in the right spot. I'm in the wrong spot. I ran too far over. I'm trying to look for that paper clip. It's right back here. It's just hard to see because it's dark. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. It'll light up before we get back over to fighter again, so. Yeah, if that spider was in my backyard, I'd probably burn down the hedge too. Yeah, the house would have to go, I think. Yep. Hey, you just have the whole neighborhood would you just have to call everybody. Hi, we found a uh, oh, <laughs> we found a brood mother in the hedge. So, oh, okay, everybody just starts packing their cars. Yep, just, we, oh, we understand. Got brood mother. All right, yeah, just, just uh, let me get my family valuables here and get everybody in the car. <laughs> yeah, honey, get everything out of the air safe. <laughs> yeah, airstrike. Yeah, yeah, that's what we need. We need an airstrike. We need yep. something. Not Mr. President, we found another brood mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be one of the, yeah, I missed that where the uh, the president would take their glass of my god. Yeah. <laughs> and then would have to they just have to call in the nuke. There'd be no choice. Yeah. Everyone would understand. Everybody'd be like, oh, man, I just rebuilt from the last time we had Oh one yeah. Of these. Yeah, the grand opening at the community center after the neighborhood's rebuilt. And oh, brood mother. <laughs> just dang it. Again. <laughs> Uh, darn it being dark and getting lost. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. I know I gotta go somewhere. You gotta go up towards the juice box to ride the zip line down. Yes. Uh, is Overcook new uh, to a new thing? Uh, it's a game that's been out for a while, but it might be new on some systems. I thought they just did an update to that. Overcooked 2? Yeah, I think it... Yeah, some sort of announcement. I think it had an update and released on... Um, I think it was released on Switch? I think it was originally a Switch game, I think. Ah, <laughs> yeah! Mm, just... Alright. Man, I... I honestly, I expected to die... <laughs> I expected to die from melee damage from her. I did not expect the poison thing. Well, the burn damage was pretty strong. That was, uh... That was definitely there. That was very strong. Wait, she has, like, a, like a burning attack? Well, that's the the poison damage is burn damage. Oh, it's like you know, an acid burns attack? Burns down your health, yeah. Man. Like, I started taking some smoothies. The smoothies aren't aren't that great. They're not bad, but they're not great. They're just there to heal you is what they're for. I mean, they don't really give you... They, they give you, like, a 
uh, sixth health every time yeah. you drink one. You That's why I tried to give you a bunch of them. Yeah. Now, what I don't know, right, is when you die in there and you leave, if she's still in there. Oh. And I'm here, so I'm going to find out. That way you don't run back all the way over here and get molly whopped by the giant spider. Um, I don't see her, so I think we're okay. So we're going to have to resummon her, which isn't the end of the... No way. Hmm. You can resummon? The, the so... Broodmother BLT is here on the ground. Oh, nice. That's a good, helpful thing. Yeah. So that's if... actually really awesome. So it only despawns probably when she's dead. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Okay, so, wow. So what we thought would be a giant pain actually is not, not a problem at all. Yep. Although we should probably make a lean to outside. I would agree with that if we have clovers and sprigs, and I only have one sprig. I have nothing. Smiley. Thank you, Chuck. We did get the... We did get it back. We need to get the uh, Broodmother BLT back. I'm just waiting for Raptor to get in here before I activate it, because if I don't do that, um, it will close him out and he will not be able to join the fight. Oh, there's a way to... The door shuts? Yep. Yep. Once you're in there, you can't get back out once you summon her. She, like, closes the door somehow. She locks the door. You gotta stay in here with me. But she doesn't realize is that she's locked in here with me, not right, I'm, I'm on my way. her. Alright, attempt number two, Chad. Here it comes. Pinto Bless Wall. Your spiderlings are kind of annoying. Go ahead and grab your backpack. Let me just swap something around here really quick. Good, 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 good. Okay. Food. Ready? Well, I guess. I Let's do so. it. I'll do my best to keep her aggro out on me so that way I can uh, try to perfect block her a little bit more. Oh, her health is gone too. Oh, really? Oh, she's still missing health. Good. Watch those attacks. Oh. Yeah, that uh, that attack there that, that shakes the ground and forces you to get attacked, that one's pretty good. Okay, that one stuns. That's pretty rough. Ooh, that, that's not good. Hey, watch out, she does five attacks in a row. Damn. Those spiderlings are annoying too, because they're just sitting there doing constant damage to you. So I don't even know if it's even really the, uh, oh good, she's killing her own spiderling somehow. Oh, now there's all the Virginias. I'm going to go Dude, down again. Can't... Oh, damn. Oh. I was going to say, I doubt this, but. Oh, wow. Wow. She's rough. Hey, we got to bring a uh, thingy. We're gonna have to, but yeah, we'll we'll make up a lean to on our way over. It's like she, we can we can deal with her pretty easily. It's everything else that that comes with her. Yeah, it's the it's the poison and the the spider legs that kind of distract. Because if you don't deal with the 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 little things in the background, it's gonna take you down. Yeah, Chad, thanks for the bandages. <laughs> I'm gonna need those. Yeah, lots of them. Why are you you do not come over here? Why is there a mosquito all the way over here? Mosquitoes don't come over here. That's a glitch. Ooh, wow, chat got us up to 400 new. likes. Thank you, guys. I am 6 from 100. Uh, when you die in the game, does it always spawn you that far away from the point you died? Yes, unless you have a, a lean-to. You can build things to set up alternative spawn points. Me and yep. Simulot thought we would be confident, but uh, no. <laughs> We're going to need to make a, a med bay. Well, I have everything to make the med bay, so we will build one right outside from where she is. That way, if we die yeah. again, that won't happen. We won't have to run all the way back over there again. Yeah, this will be the last time we have to go back up in the hedges. 
Um, I do not have any rage smoothies right now. No, rage smoothies are a great idea, so Ooh. you do more damage. Yeah, rage smoothies. Um, is there any? Oh, isn't there mutations we can do too to like increase our damage at, um, like, uh, like range damage and other things like that? Oh, yep. isn't there that hat? Yep. There's there's all sorts of um, there's all sorts of different uh, mutations that you can use. There's even one called Berserk now that makes it so you do more damage with club-like weapons, which is what the Mint Mace is considered. Mm. Um, there's one for spears, one's for daggers, one for axes, one for hammers. And that and that's a permanent buff. It, yeah, if you apply it, it's a permanent buff. But you can only have three mutations on it at a time. How do you do mutations again? Uh, just by finding different things or doing, like, for instance, running a lot, you'll get cardio fan, which will allow you to have more cardio. Um, so you can run further. Um, you can get thing. you can buy some of them from Burgle, like Daredevil. Uh, the perk Daredevil will make it so you can fall a further distance and take less damage. Um, and then all the ones that have to do with weapons and stuff, it's just how many times you kill something with said weapon. Oh, yeah, okay. There's even one for punching things, which... I've gotten it, and it is a huge pain in the butt, but I've gotten it. I've also punched a, a wolf spider to death before. Bro, imagine beating the broodmother, but with, like, fists only, bro. Yeah, I somebody asked me to do that challenge. They're like, can you see how many punches it takes to kill the broodmother? I'm like, I don't have four hours to sink into, or into do a you? video for just... Yeah, well, I mean, or I do, do you? right? Yeah, exactly. I uh, do. Imagine taking that four hours and, like, condensing it down into a speed run. Yeah. Like, where you, you know, well, whatever. Like, you speed up the footage. How long do you think that would take? Like, 40 minutes of blocking and punching? Um, You'd probably have to do it in, like, peaceful mode so you didn't die. Or whatever. Yeah, You'd have it, to, like, do have God to be, mode. Yeah, it would have to be creative with bugs where I did it. And I'd have to just sit there and punch her over and over and over again. And I wouldn't be able to wear any gear because then it wouldn't tell you if you're if you're doing it you know how many punches it actually takes so you'd have to be no gear no mutations just punching wow all right well at least it is daytime all right we're gonna from here on out sir simlot i'm just gonna lie okay you ready yep all right here we go all right guys we're gonna take on the brood mother for the first time we're gonna take our first look and have our first try yep. at fighting the brood mother never before seen enemy we don't know where her lair is we don't know uh, how to summon her <laughs> we don't yep. know uh what brood uh, a brood is or a mother actually yeah um, what's that never yeah. had one um <laughs> don't know anything about anything how what, do you what play game games we yeah what, what game is this i don't know it's gonna be a first try though oh boy all right lean two is up over here You know, the good thing about us dying, though, is that now I know where to go. Yep. I think this is like the first time in this game I can finally say that I think I maybe not, might know where I'm going. Maybe might. You maybe might know where you're going. Maybe might possibly know. Now our luck is going to be that uh, the Boo Mother BLT that we definitely oh, uh, yeah. just crafted and kept in our inventory and we are not reusing because this is our first time ever being in first here. First try. Yep. Um, that this is our first time doing this and that the, the BLT is going to be... Okay, is it still there? It's still there. Okay, good. So this is our first try, first look at the first enemy that's ever been first. Yep. This is and the first conflict of man. There was there was not a, a Broodmother BLT that I just picked up right there that was not a thing. I wonder if we could use the brood broodmother BLT to summon the brood mother. It's very possible. I mean, you'd think it does say broodmother BLT. I wonder what the description of it is. Well, I mean, it does say that it's a bait no broodmother can resist. So it might be how we summon her. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if we could take the. Hold on, I gotta set my spawn point. Yeah, Yay. excuse me. Make sure you set your spawn. Got it. Good thing you put it there. I was too busy with the uh, B level comedy. All right. First look, first try. All right, Broodmother Battle. If you've been wanting to see it, here it is. Your first look. Hey, are you wearing your ladybug helmet? Yes, you yes. are. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that you weren't in there uh, trying to, to fight her wearing uh, 
your gas mask. I was like, well, yeah, that's no, probably no. why you're dying so dang quick. Oh, maybe the gas mask. Oh, wait, no. She poisons from contact. Yeah, she poisons. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The only thing that might help with this, which probably would have been a helpful pointer, is to have um, there is a perk called Cool Defense. And it is a perk you get from picking up a mint piece, and it lowers the damage that burning attacks and poison attacks do. There was so, a backpack here from some other survivor. Interesting. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Good thing, though, it had a whole bunch of helpful stuff in it. Must be a glitch. You'll have to recall. Oh, watch, watch out for that spider. What? There's a spider in the game? Oh, look. Whoa, wow. What is this? Oh, God, she's got full health. Hold on, I got, I got to have a granola bar. <laughs> Locked her twice now. Okay, hold on. Wait for my stamina to recover. Oh, I got, I got, I got webbed. Going quiet. Gotta focus. Oh, nice one, nice one, nice one. Yep. Stunlock is good, stunlock is good. Hit it with the stunlock. That's, that one hurt. I gotta pull back and get the back. I'm going down right here. Do it. Do it. Get her. Got her ass. Good job. Boom. Oh, it kills all the little ones around her, too. Mom jeans. <laughs> all right. So... I just made a video on this a little bit earlier today about what Mom Jeans does, and it's technically how you're able to tame a third type of pet without really taming them. What Mom Jeans does is it makes it so while you're attacking things, it summons little spiderlings around you. Oh, that's nice. All right, so this Ooh. is what it drops. So let me drop these for you. Here Another you thing, by the way, is uh, just completely ignore uh, her spiderlings. Like, just go for da dam damage, damage. Yep, yep. So it drops the Broodmother Chunks, Fangs, and Venom. Yep. So with those, if you go to crafting, we need to go research them. Because once you research them, that's how it's going to allow you to uh, look at the parts. So let's go, uh, let's go research that st stuff. So we can research all three of these things? It looks like it'll be like a poison weapon of some sort. Her poison was brutal, but damn. Yeah, I was gonna say she she was uh, she hurts, but no, good job. I like how that that was the time that you and me, you know, put the <laughs> do it the right way, put up the lean to, and you know, uh, that was yeah. our first time. I know, but you know that time we put up the lean to, and well, it's good we did that because if we would have died, which we've never died on that boss before, uh, yep. that would have been bad and embarrassing. Some people probably would have on sub, but I'm sure everyone here is subscribed because you can oh, see yeah, them. Oh yeah, of course. You can see them putting uh, lowercase uh, L's into chat. That's that's what a subscriber would do. So now to research, where, where should we go? Back to the hedge base? There's a research so, thing in there. Yep, there is a research thing back in the hedge base. So that's where I'm going to go right now with you. So we're just going to uh, follow this over. Hop on the zip line right here. Oh. Very nice. Didn't we kill enough of you a little bit ago? Okay. Now we're going to go out and up. Woo, that was a big W, chat. That was a big W. That was fun. That was fun. She was difficult. 
And uh, according to the uh, developers, their head developer, um, that is the first boss, not the only boss, the first boss. So wow. there's going to be more things like that in the game, which I'm pretty pumped about. That's exciting. How do I get down to where you went? Oh, did you go up the on the leaf? And, okay, go. you're on the mushrooms. Go up and look up to the leaf. Oh, yeah. Wow, I couldn't even... Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Follow that up, and then take the zip line down. An ant queen boss. There's a really good idea. Ooh, That'd be awesome. Yeah, and a, a a bee queen. Yep. I mean, I'm I'm cool with all of them. Queen Bees. bee, queen ant. Yeah. Wow, that'd be sweet. Yep. Uh, where are we going now? Oh, we're gonna just go right up here, and into this room there should be a research terminal that's right here. Oh yeah, okay. I remember. Uh, the koi isn't a boss. Uh, not yet, I guess. Uh, the koi. Okay, so the thing with the koi, right? Uh, the koi is not going to be a fightable enemy. Uh, it would be kind of like you trying to kill a boss with a toothpick. Uh, the if, if you haven't seen how big the koi actually is compared to you, it's like you sitting next to a blue whale. Yeah, true. It, you know. It's like, yeah, okay, how many cuts can you do to a blue whale and, and kill it, you know? Club of the Mother Demon. Damn. Yep. So what we're going to do um, right now is we are going to, now that we've beaten up on the Brood Mother and you've researched it and you have seen those, Mask we are going to pop. Demon. We are going to pop over to my creative with bugs. And you will be able to make both of those, so that way you can check them out, and then it'll be easier to make you a little pet really quick, if that's something you'd like to do. Uh, yes, let's proceed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just save this one. That is a cool little picture right there. Um, I have a save picture with us fighting the Broodmother. Oh, cool. Memories. And then I'm going to quit out of this, and then I will start up a... Um, my multiplayer creative with bugs. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use those weapons now, chat. The things we just unlocked, we're gonna go into creative and and use that stuff now. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Club Club of the Mother Demon. Does this become Dark Souls? Kind of. Right. Kind of. It looks it looks fairly like when you when you use it, it looks really brutal. Uh, do the mints respawn in the mint container? No, but they will respawn in the ant hill. So once you harvest all five of them that are in the mint container, they respawn in the ant hill every five in-game days. I wonder what other I'm bosses tired. there could be. Oh, I want there to be a, a, a centipede, bro. Ooh. Oh, centipede, praying mantis. They were talking about scorpions and uh, trapped or spiders today. Nope. On their Twitter. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> nope, I'm good. <laughs> nope. That's a big old nope. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a big uh, that's a big no. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, man. I uh, love the this game, game should be open for you to join. Perfect. All right. Now, where are you? That hey, is the nice good question. You. I have spawned nice. at the case. Nice okay. Well perfect. Um, I'm gonna run over to you, and uh, we will be able to build some stuff. Cool. Is there something stronger than the Mint Club? Yes. Oh yeah, In the fact, thing we're about to make. I will equip it for you guys so everybody over here can see it. Do you want me to come to you, or is there somewhere else yep. I can check out? Okay. Yep, just come to me. I'm, I'm swimming towards you. We're just going to meet in the middle, and then we'll just... Uh, build some stuff and that way you could check out the uh the mushroom building as well because the mushroom building is all new oh yeah all the mushroom bricks and stuff oh man mm -hmm. chat sp smash like if you like mushroom bricks me too wow they actually remind me of marshmallows the funny thing is is that we're actually working on uh 3d printing with mushrooms stuff mm -hmm. and building houses out of mushrooms in real life but anyway wow. uh sorry nerd moment uh but my plan for my stream tomorrow that's going to be happening on my channel is playing on my not creative with bugs map and uh, actually making a new castle with all of the bug stuff. So with all the mushroom stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. All right. 
Well, I'm currently wearing the stuff, but what we'll do is I will put down this workbench here and you just go into use workbench and you can make yourself a club of the mother demon and you can make yourself a mask of the mother demon. And those are the only two things at the moment that are available? Yep. Yep. For now. Oh, tier three. Spike club built for violence, fashioned from various parts and a brood mother and other resources. Damn. So if you look um, while you're in there, uh, you can click on the mint mace and you can look on the right hand side and see the damage. Oh, yeah. This is a step on, up. If you click on the mother, uh, the, the club of the mother demon, it's even higher. Yep. So it's like it's wow. maximum. So is <laughs> yeah. tier three the highest? I thought there was like four and stuff and five. Uh, there is a tier four weapon. It's called the Dragonfly Slayer. It's not in the game yet. It's still in development. Okay. Uh, they said they don't know how many tiers they want to go up, but they know that they're not done at three. God, I love this. I love this team. Yeah, so do I. It's like, please more, please more, keep going. I love it. Please more. So the other thing is, is oh yeah, the marksman cap. I forgot that. There's the mask. Or boating helm crafted from frightening pieces of a fallen brood mother. Damn, that description is lit. Mm -hmm. It looks like a samurai helmet. Doesn't it? Ten silk rope, three chunks, and a fang. Similot, from what we just got in our in our fight, would that have been enough stuff for you and me both to craft both the helmet and the mace? No, it would not have. Oh, so you got to do um, multi fights. Yeah, because I do believe we only got one fang from her. It's possible that both can be done, but if you, yeah, so you need three fangs all together to make both, and a spider's not going to give three fangs when it only has two. Is it random so, what she drops? Yes. Mm. So Don't you're going to have to fight her more than once, yeah. Uh, I guess after but, the first fight, it'll be easier. You get the knowledge and then the weapons. Yeah. What I would suggest, if you're going to do this fight more than once, start with um, getting the weapon and then go on. But now you can uh, teach people a lesson because this guy won't attack you back. But look at the amount of damage you're doing by hitting them. Wow. I mean, it is just like massive damage. Yeah, you and can it like stuns, three shot them. It's, yeah. But it does use the same amount of stamina that um, that the other stuff that that um, that the Mint Mace uses. Is the Roman gear that was in the trailer in the game yet? No, it is not. That is the Roly Poly armor. Oh. They have not added the Roly Poly to the game yet. I'm assuming what we're going to get before we get the roly poly is a rotten roly poly set. I do believe that's what's going to get added to the game. So pretty excited about that one. So it should be happening sometime soon. I'm assuming that's going to be their next big update. Uh, they are no longer doing monthly updates. They are going to go every other month or longer because it they want more time uh, to work on the game and... Um, add more features to it than just going through and doing uh smaller updates damn yep so cool thing there okay so the only couple things that are left is one finding a spot where you can build yourself a little hobbit house because uh, they added a hobbit door oh really yep that's the mushroom door it literally is a circular door that looks like a hobbit hole so oh, that's cool this is a pretty good space for it so let's uh let's go ahead and press press b um, and you can go to, to see the door. It is on the third to last tab where you'll see the mushroom door. You can go ahead and build that guy and then build a base around it with all the different mushroom parts. They've also added pillars, um, rotatable, um, items. Like for instance, they oh. have staircases. Wait, hold on. Yeah. That's, that's the little totem guy I was telling you about. Oh, what the hell? Right? Any cool? Yeah, so he's crafted by... Yeah, okay. It's Frankenstein, basically. A larva body and... Well, that's Those cute. Water boatman fins. Yep. Uh, and and head. head and back. And then bombardier legs. Wow. So this is a new thing that was also added in this update. So this is the way that the, the spiral staircase normally goes, right? Spiral staircase was added last update. Okay? So now check this out. Oh, you can you go underground? No, no, no. You can... What I what I just did is you see how it's going uh, the one way? Oh, you like can reverse the directions. Yep. Oh. So now they go the other way. So you can also do... So now you can have, like, grand entrances and stuff where it has multiple staircases. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You can build a mini mansion. Yep. Wow. Here, I'll, I'll pop something up for you here really quick. Let me... Uh, 
That's so cool. I love how the wood looks. That looks so nice. I'll pop together a really small uh, house here for you. This is cool. Oh, and these are the mushroom bricks? These are oh, no, the pebblets. pebblets foundations. Okay. So these are these are standard to the game, but let's start with some of the mushroom stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a door. Pop that guy down right there. Nice. And then just because we can, we are going to have a couple curve things here. Because curve buildings are newer to the game. Another window on that side. It's a castle, bro. Yep, that's exactly what it is. And for your good friend who has a channel that's based all around knights and medieval stuff, this came right in time. <laughs> True. As a viewer, I'll make sure I click the link that just appeared in chat in order to bring me to Sir Simlot's channel so I can subscribe now. Wink face chat. Yeah, that door is cool. And you can make some really sweet looking bridges too that look like they're out of stone. Yep. Man, I like how they're doing stuff out of different materials. Yeah, they're they're now they have uh oh here you go. This is uh this is newer. We'll put this up here really quick. Oh, it's like a thatch roof. Wait, what's that made out of? That's made out of crow feathers. So now you can build out of crow feathers themselves and make some pretty decent looking roofs that are a little bit more enclosed than your standard uh than your standard like plank or or your uh clover roofs. This is so cool. Oh, and you okay. can like leave the little top open for a fire like in Valheim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yep. cool. Uh a lot of people have also said that you can do like more of a like a Japanese or samurai esque. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, a lot of really cool things. Oh, here we go. Ant armor Raptor, is like 110% samurai. You want to do the uh, the one thing that everybody in the game asked to do for months and months, almost an entire year? Uh, That is. What? Sitting. Oh, to sit. Yep. Go oh, on yes. inside. The king, the king shall take his throne, yes. Wait, before I do. Thank you, everybody's coming over to subscribe. I do appreciate that. Oh, yes, you need your waiter. Yes. That's important. I need to be fed grapes. <laughs> or berries, I guess, in this case. Now it is time to sit. Oh, eat a lounge. You don't even, like, sit in it the right way. You're just like, here we are, we're here, and this is what has become. Like, yeah. it's so awesome. This is what it's like to be a member, by the way. If you haven't smashed that join button, this is exactly how it feels. Once you once you become a member, which, by the way, we'll have some giveaways tonight on the Discord for those of you who haven't joined. Might be a good idea to smash join. So it's what it's like when you're kicking back in the members-only section. Really nice. Yeah, I'm about to do uh, two different giveaways before the <gasps> night ends. I'm going to be giving away a game to my members, and I'm going to be giving away a game to anybody who subscribed for today, So, Whoa. or anybody who is a subscriber. So, I'm a nice guy like that, and I like to do giveaways. So, Yeah, same. I do members and uh, stuff for everybody in the general chat, too. So, if you're, just, if you're just a sub, don't forget to jump on the discords, but I'm sure both of our links are in the uh, descriptions. Yep. Dude, this is so cool. I really like the mushroom parts, how they look, and how they inter... Uh, interconnect. Yeah. Yep. That really yep. looks nice. Well, I mean, I've already. I mean, they've they've shown off just a couple things from. Can you shoot uh, through the windows? Yes. Oh wow. Do they have those things that some castles have? You know, the the things you can hide behind. Those uh, little. Um, I don't yep. know what you call those things. Man manlets or something. Yeah. So here we'll. Uh, I will pop up something here really quick again. Let me just grab these round. Where yeah. are you? Intergalactic, yeah. Intergalactic, 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 intergalactic. Ah, nice. Okay, and then I'm going to just grab. Where are you? Oh, you can make towers now. Oh, dude, see, that's so cool. And then you could actually make a spiral staircase all the way to the top and then glide down, couldn't you, with the. Mm -hmm. uh, with the um, 
Now wait, in this game, now, is there a permanent glider? Like, I know you could use the dandelion things, but is there... So, can you make they haven't... Now? They haven't come out with it 100% yet. Uh, they've talked, I've seen it in the dev files for months now uh, that there is something called the Clover Glider mm. that is still in progress. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to get it at some point, but they haven't made like an official statement like, yes, don't worry, Sim, it's coming. So I hope it works like how you can actually, um, you know, maybe like steer it a bit more, you know, like actually glide with it rather than just kind of a, a more of a glider than a parachute, you know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. All right, now I just need to come up here and grab a couple of these. I Let's see, grab them. I want to see how the crossbow works. Where's the, uh, where'd you put that bench? Oh, wait, I can uh, down. Could, as you can see, you just build one. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I can actually see the, oh, garden patch now. Okay, yep. Oh, that looks the same, though. But that's cool that you can plant anything there. Yeah, and also the entire menu on the inside of it has changed as well, so it's now uh, a little bit different. Optional fertilizer to modify growth. Nice. Yep. Yeah, Valheim is a fantastic game. If you like Valheim, you like this, and vice versa. Like they're both very, very different games and very good. They are very good games. Both of them are very, very good games. Mm, only thing I'd want here is a search. Oh, there's a pet house. What? Oh, you can put your little aphids and stuff in there. Oh. So, uh, Raptor, if you come up to the top of the tower, I just spawned over here really quick. That's cool. Wait, can I sleep in my house? No. no. If you come over here and you go inside of the tower, you climb up to the top, and the parapets, I believe, is what you were, uh, I believe is what they're called. It's one of the names of them. Oh. Uh, now they've added half walls, so you're allowed to do stuff like that. So, um, yeah. That's cool. Build Minas Tirith, that's an excellent idea. But yeah, so really cool things that were added. Um, I am going to fire off my member giveaway here. For all of my wonderful people who want to be members. Okay, I'm going to put down a crafting bench. I want to see the crossbow. I haven't seen it, so I'm going to shoot things to death so another thing that i do on my channel that i don't know if we mentioned is i dive into the development stuff so i tend to give out the stuff that's coming way early um so if there's an ability for you to unlock the roly-poly armor within the dev files i will probably be able to wear it within the next day or two mm. i just have to find the code While we're here. Clover poncho, lol. <laughs> I don't even make one of those anymore. Mm. Tier 2 crossbow. Oh, it's only a tier 2. Mm -hmm. Does more damage, but less speed. So, you want to come see the broken snow machine? When I say broken snow machine, I mean the grinder. Oh, yeah. So, uh... First of all, the animation that goes on underneath the grinder is uh, quite different. Um, and then the one that comes out of the top, it looks like uh, a snow machine you'd see up at like a ski resort that's barely working. It's like, I'm trying, I'm trying, but I'm not. I feel like that should go the opposite way. Like you put things into the top, it grinds it and then puts it in the bowl at the bottom. You know what I mean? It is actually putting it in the bowl at the bottom. So what's no, coming mean, out of the top is... That's what uh, I mean is it should go opposite. Like you put stuff in through the the purple thing, then it goes in to be gr ground up and then falls out the bottom. You know, that's what it does. So what's coming out of the top is just bits that are being ground up. That's oh, all I that see. Is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait. And then it... it's actually coming out of the bottom. So it oh, I now okay, it looked like a pipe. Oh, I see. That's here weird. is uh, a couple mushroom goo, and those mushroom goo, if you leave it on the ground, will attract a weevil. And a weevil will come and eat it, and then you'll be able to pet the weevil. Guys, just remember that this update is currently in public test server. It is being developed still. It will come out fully for everybody on June 30th. This is basically just chivalry. With bugs. <laughs> yep. Oh, I love that game. Chivalry is so much fun. It is. I... I... 
I found out that as an archer, I should not play that game. Um, but if you give me a giant weapon, I'm pretty much uh, unstoppable. Yeah, Actually, a lot of people got mad at me as an archer. And mostly because I was using the short sword. They thought they could just plow right through and knock me down because I was an archer. Yeah. Oh, this really does look Japanese. It's nice. I love all the, the different styles to build in this game. It's so yep. cool. And the armor, too. You can tell they're trying to go for both Norse and like European and Japanese well, at the same time. They're they're trying to go yeah all over the place. Here you go. How about this? Um, let me grab these. Ready for this? Ava coming through. So tell me that this. Oh well, I didn't think oh. that was gonna knock that over. <laughs> I thought that those were both gonna be you know on the ground in their own way, but. Tell me that doing something like this doesn't look Greek. When you start getting a bunch of columns together like that, and then you build out some walls to it. I mean, you could literally build a Parthenon, is what I'm going for. That's true. So, yeah, it's they are really thinking of outside of the box when it comes to building things. I mean, how they would think that the teens are going to come up with this is is yeah, right. all beyond me. But 13-year-olds hey, you know. apparently have a structural engineering degree in, yeah. in, in grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chivalry is a good game. That's true. Actually, uh, what I streamed that just the other day, and then I was like, I, I was planning on, I think today was supposed to be Arc, but because Arc just released that new update, but then Grounded updated, and when Grounded updated, it completely takes over my channel for, yeah. for days. So a, mo a month in this case. There's so much you can do here. Yeah. Once you think you're out of ideas, you get three more. Crazy. All right, what else? What else is new uh, that we can show off? Anything? Anything new? Um, building the only thing wise, that's left that would be new, um, not building wise, but would be taming. Uh, that's the only thing that's left. Oh, is yeah. getting yourself a little pet. Can we do that in this mode? Yeah, yeah, you can. All right, let's see if we can get somebody to come over and uh, we'll put them in our little our little house. Well, here we'll uh, we'll go a searching for a weevil. Yeah, because I have a bunch of mushroom shillery on me. All right, let's go. And we will see if we can find ourselves a weevil friend. All right, Pinto Bless on our hunt. I normally just listen for him because you can hear him before anything else. Where are you? Yeah, Cameron, this is one awesome game, I must say. Pinto Bless. You're watching from the Philippines? Welcome, Gerald. That's a bunch of mites. You kind of got to run around a little bit to find them, so. Mm. Especially seeing how the ants like to kill the weevils. True. Maybe they're over by the gas area? Mm. They're kind of all over. The, I mean, weevils are one of the, uh, besides the aphids, spawn more than anything else, so. It's just, of course, when you're looking for one, that's when you can't find one. Now, there is a thing where if you just put down a bunch of the the slurries, they will sooner than later make their way over to you. I found one. Um, no, no, don't do that. I'm stuck. Don't, don't you hurt him. I will mess you up. Leave him alone. All right, good. <laughs> the best punch to the gut you'll ever take. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to drop these on the ground for you. And then he'll come and eat them, and then you'll be able to pet him. Hey, buddy. Do I pet him with my gun? No. Oh. I can't pet him yet, though. He's... You gotta wait for him to finish eating. Uh, he'll eat a bunch. He'll eat between two and four of the mushroom slurries is what I've noticed. Uh, it was it was thought that it's only two, but it's between two and like two and four of them that they eat and then they become your buddy. And then uh, you can walk up and pet them once they're done eating. Is he mutating into something? Look at that. Yeah, he's uh, he's actually eating something that's under the ground. That's him eating. It's his okay. eating animation. Come on, buddy. Oh, I see it. 
Yep. He gonna get thick. Uh oh. Ant again. Oh boy. Don't kill the weevil. Don't kill the weevil. Don't run away. Why are you running away? If the ants come over by them, they just run. They they stop eating and just run. And he died. <laughs> oh man. Come on. Well, that's right. We'll uh Wait, he's not Sir Simlot. I don't think he's dead. You don't think he's dead? No. Are you sure he's dead? Are you sure he's dead? <laughs> I just picked him up. Unless he's not dead on your screen, but he's pretty dead on mine. Are okay, I got sure? another one right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain. All right, I got another one over here. And I dropped 10 slurries on the ground, so I'm sure that this will do it. Yeah. I actually captured a... Did you know you could tame uh, ants? I captured one. He's sleeping right now. Oh, well, congratulations. Good he, job. He's in his house. Oh, good. <laughs> just just build the, the pet house on top of the dead ant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. It works. <laughs> well, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? Sometimes you just got to improvise. All right, we'll, co we'll cover our brody while he's eating. Legendary game, yeah. This this is a pretty pretty good game. It, it's amazing how afraid you still get, uh, especially when you're in the hedge base and and uh, whenever you see have like some a food. Wolf spider, <laughs> you just drop a whole stack of them on top of him. So what's the benefit for taming these guys? Um, the aphids when you tame them, they give you a, a trait when they follow you around. Ooh. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure what the trait does yet. Uh, nice. They haven't said anything, the aphids, and I haven't noticed any difference. Do they make the the honeydew? While they're at base? They do, yes. So it's kind of like a, having a cow. Like constantly Either. giving you milk. Or eggs, like, you know, for a chicken. Yep. Or like a refrigerator giving you Hot Pockets and chat. Speaking of chickens and eggs, that Medieval Dynasty game, I know that's come out with a couple updates. That True. was such a good game, too. Yeah, there's a new update for that one. There's also an update for our pizza roll emote as well. If you guys don't like Hot Pockets, enjoy those new pizza rolls, y'all. Mm. It just seems like lately there's so many games that are just updating that you just can't keep up. True. Is he, uh, is he tameable yet? Man, he's, man, it takes a long time to tame these boys. Now he's, now he's stuck between these damn... <laughs> oh, there he goes. All right. This should do it. Oh, you want another one, you little punk? Eating all the, the weevil goo? One thing I've noticed is it's like it doesn't matter how many times you like want to feed it, it, it just does it when it wants to do it. I don't mm. know if it's like based on a stat that it has or something like that, but there you go. Come on. Go ahead. You can pat him now. Boy, oh, he's jittery. There must have been a lot of sugar in that. And that mushroom goo. All right, and then if you uh, just put down one of those, you can put your pet in there. So you could go in there and deposit your pet. No pet lives here. How do I get him to go in there? You go in there. Look. Apparently, because I dropped it, I had to put him in there. But now oh, you can okay. go in there and you press use. You could go in there and rename him, and oh, you can I check see. out stats about him. So. Wow. Oh, this means there's more in the future. Let's see. Mushroom slurry. Bonus effect is a weevil friend. Personality serious. Happiness is happy. Times petted one. <laughs> yes, it is confirmed. You can pet the goodest of weevils in the chat. In this game. That's right. How lovely. That's right. Okay, so my member giveaway is done. So my good friend Magi won that one. So now we are going to complete that one and do the one for all subscribers. So if you're a subscriber to my channel, you will get a free Steam key today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Giveaway alert. Do you guys hear that? Giveaway alert. 
This is the giveaway alert. And it's only going on for five minutes, so you gotta get over here quick and do it. Alright, so the alarm will go off for about five minutes, Jim. <laughs> In this creative mode, do we also have all the uh, gabs unlocked? Uh, no, you still have to go around and find them. Bug juice, supreme, ooh. Yeah. My contrast. Some of them I found already while we were playing yesterday because I was playing on this map with uh, with Edgar and a couple of people. So, um, yeah, so it was a good time, but we found a couple of them. Wow. Well, for anybody who's wondering, purple. exclamation point raffle is how you get into raffles. So in case you guys are wondering. Bum, 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 bum. I hope the crossbow becomes more powerful. Well, the crossbow can use the crow feather uh, arrows, and the crow feather arrows, uh, Edgar was doing some testing with them yesterday against the broodmother, and it does quite a significant amount of damage, almost as much as a hit from a, a mint mace. So mm. it's it's quite strong. And well, then you could get a couple of perks then for the archer. Oh, was he wearing the uh, huntsman cap or whatever? No, we, we, we went in wearing full ladybug gear just to be safe. Mm, might be a good idea to get. It might be a good idea to get two people on melee to aggro and, and uh, you know do damage than two ranged people. I Maybe. agree. Or at least one ranged. Because if yeah, you have if you have three ground people, one person can always be aggroed while two are doing damage, and then the range person can kind of pick them off from a distance. Because getting like three people to attack might be a little tricky. Yeah. Because she moves around a lot, and not to mention that jump. That jump's pretty rough, especially with her doing the, it like does like a knockdown effect, and I think like the more damage you do to her, the more she spawns. So the more she spawns her adds. So. We're hunting raptor. Eh. <gasps> so speaking of uh, raptor, you're mm -hmm. gonna be playing that new Jurassic Park Evolution game, right? Well, I certainly was surprised by that, and yeah, I want to I want to play that. I hope it's more in depth. Yeah. The first game was good, but I want more. I basically want planet coaster dinosaur. Uh, Agreed. Agreed. Planet. I, I mean, planet I want dinosaur. Planet, well, I want I want somewhere between planet zoo and planet coaster and planet dinosaur. That's what I want. Yeah. We'll see if I get it though. Ooh, lucky. Um, somebody once tried to tell me that there was an achievement for killing your pet, so I did that, and there's not an achievement for killing your pet. Don't kill your pets, it's not. It actually makes First the game try. crash if you kill them. Really? Yeah. It's a little silly, but yeah. Well, another bug they're working out. So the steam ach the achievement is to crash your game. Pretty good yeah, achievement. That's right. Man, I really want to get out of the backyard. I I hope they like do a lot of work in the backyard and then I want to be able to go to the gas station or something. Right? I want there to be like a giant rat you could fight or something, but that'll probably be along the lines of the koi. Yeah, I mean, you got to think, I mean, anything that's like that, like a spider, like a broodmother spider, I mean, that's one thing. I mean, it's a spider, right? But I mean, something like a koi or a rat or a mouse, squirrel, and snake, anything along those lines. It's just too big. Yeah, I mean, technically, like, the um, the crow doesn't even pay attention to you. Yeah, it completely ignores you. For now, uh, there will be crow interactions that happen later on in the game. Oh, my God. Mutation detected. So the mutations are what Dr. Uh, T What's his name? Tuttle? Tully. Tully? Dr. Tully is going through? Uh, no. So, what Dr. Tully went through was his brain started to break down because he was making himself big and shrinking him down so, uh, self small. So, so small. the eh, English difficult. <laughs> uh, shrinking himself down over and over and over again. Oh, he didn't have a big brain emote in chat. Yeah, that was the problem. Oh. Yep. 
Yes, Pog indeed. Uh, we'll be getting a Pog emote soon for you guys. I'm working on one with Harry, of Harry's face. You Okay, so uh, last call on a giveaway on your channel, is that right? Yep. All right, yep, let's do right. this. Why don't we... Uh, so, Simlot's doing a giveaway on his channel right now for anybody who subscribed to him, so why don't everybody watching... If you guys like free stuff, you should totally subscribe to him right now. Smash that link, go over there. Go say hi, and then go over there and type exclamation point raffle. And you should be able to jump into that one. You gotta be quick, yep. though. Yep. I just opened it back up so people can get in and, oh, and nice. uh, do it for just, just Time a moment. Time extended. So. Time extended. Wow, we did it. We beat the, the brood mama. Her well, coming. I'm happy that you were uh, able to come over here and hang out for a little while and play some Grounded again. And... Oh, it feels good to be back. And now yeah, there's it's... so many new things to build with. I still want more of the story, though. I'm always down yeah. to come back when there's new... Um, new new stuff to build with is cool, but I like the, the Broodmother and the lore. I like the I like the story and the exploration. The base building's cool, though, but I don't have the patience to, like, to gather yep. all that stuff just to build a castle. It's all good, though. Unknown Planet with the two, thank you very much. All right, last call for everybody to join Simulot. He'll be yep. doing his giveaway, so make sure you jump over there. And then I'll be wrapping up now, folks, so I can uh, go and do some more recordings for you guys. It's going to be a busy week of a ton of new games coming to Steam for their new Steam uh, next event, which has a ton of uh, simulator and also building games. Crazy amount of building games and stuff. That's all. Uh, some of which you can, like... Like pre-order or add to your wish list, but all of them are ba basically everything has a mod. But if you like Grounded, Grounded is now available for uh, basically one dollar to fifteen dollars on the Xbox Game Pass, depending on like if you've tried it or not. Otherwise, I would just say buy the game now at full price because it's like a ten out of ten, awesome. Yep, yep. it really is a good game, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll tell you, I mean, a guy doesn't get a thousand hours of gameplay out of a game that he doesn't enjoy. So yeah, thank you everybody so much. I do appreciate incomplete. it. Over incomplete, incomplete game, incomplete. Yeah, they're they're they said they're still a ways off from full release, so they still have so much more they're adding. But uh, thank you, Raptor, for coming and hanging out. Yeah, I do appreciate it. Did you get a winner for your giveaway? I did. Uh, <gasps> Tyler Huggins. Oh, wow, congratulations. So you have to uh, join the Discord. Make sure you guys are join the Discord, and then uh, DM me, and I'll make sure that I get you your key. Good, good deal. Well, I'm gonna be around for just a little bit longer. I'm gonna do a Q&A session for probably the next 15 minutes. So if anybody has any questions on the update, uh, feel free to come over, and I will answer them for you. And uh, other than that, Raptor, have a good one. Thank you again. You too, sir. Thank you, guys. I'm dropping the link to Simulot. If you have questions about ground to go ask now about the current or uh, most recent update, and uh, you guys can find his link down there. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, Simlot. Bye, bud. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Have yourself a good rest of your day. We'll be doing uh, one-a-day streams pretty much for the rest of the week as I continue to cover, like, all these crazy... There's, like, 24 new games, and they're only around for about seven days, so I got a lot of videos to make for you guys. But Grounded had an announcement for its new update as of, uh, I think, the first or second day of E3. So I was glad to beat the Broodmother. That is one scary boss, man. But that was cool. Watch for that poison and block, block, block. Good stuff. All right, you guys have a fantastic afternoon, good evening, and good night. Jump over to Simlot's channel with the link in the chat, and I will see you all tomorrow for more Vigi Games. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. We'll see you soon.